Hello! Welcome to the stream, everybody! It's Sonic Colors Ultimate Project Re-Rainbow Time! I think I got that right. Uh, yep, today, you got it. Today, I've got uh, Blue Wolf Blitz here with me over there. You can see the old jumping Discord avatar that, uh, you know, next time I use this, I'm probably <laughs> going to make it so it doesn't go transparent like that. But uh, I think, I don't know, that works out. But yeah, welcome. Look at the... Tra Pup, shut up, dude. I... <laughs> How am I a traitor? What did I... Oh, no, wait, me. no, I took you me. away from them. <laughs> I'm the traitor. <laughs> but, uh... He wants to... I, I don't mean to... I'm not excluding you from the streams, pup, I swear. It just so happens that every time I plan to stream, I don't plan to usually have guests. I just stream on my own most of the time. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, today we're here to check out Sonic Colors Project Re-Rainbow, which is a mod that Blue Wolf is the project lead on. Uh, they very gracefully, I guess, allowed me to check out the mod for today's video, and I was having so much fun playing Sonic Colors that I was like, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna stream this too, if that's okay. Uh, so, Isn't Colors great? It's such awesome. a slept-on game nowadays. <laughs> it really is. It's such a... like... It's funny, because you sent me the DM on Twitter, and you were like, hey, do you want to play the mod? And I was like, yeah, I like Sonic Colors. I'll, I'll play the mod. And, you know, you sent it over. I got it working. And I had to boot up the Epic Game Store. And I was like, oh. You poor soul. Gosh. I know. <laughs> it was just... It was gross and bad. But then the game started. And I was like, oh. Oh. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just, I really, really enjoy playing Colors. And this makes it... Like, this just makes it into, like, what the remaster, I think, should have been. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> it, it's what it deserved to be, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, somebody asked, when will this mod be released publicly? Um, when it's finished. <laughs> it's not done yet. <laughs> We're close. That's, We're that's very close. <laughs> but it's not done yet. <laughs> All right. Perfect. That's ex I expected the answer to be. It's, uh, <laughs> when it's done. But, uh... Yeah. I'm very excited to get into this. I was going to originally play Egg Shuttle, but uh, there's like a small issue with Colors Ultimate where sometimes when you die, the game just shuts off. Uh, yeah, so, isn't that great? Yeah, yeah. Like, since there's no way I don't think the save Egg Shuttle runs, I, I, no, you can't. I'm just not going to do that. You know, I'm just going to play yeah. through the levels one at a time. Yeah, it's just a one and done. If you close the game, it's over. Like, I, I would like to do that, but I'm just, I'm so not good enough at this game to do it in, like, you know, one life. <laughs> show the cutscenes. I can definitely... You want to see a cutscene first? We can do that. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead and show those. Because they're... they're. I think they're in a good state to be shown. Okay, I, I have... I would show the, the intro, because you said it was remastered, but I don't... Can I, like, get the intro to play again? Do you know? Uh, Yeah, you can. You just go to the option satellite and go to extras. And option, it's... Okay. uh, I can't remember the name that Blind Squirrel calls it. But uh, I think they literally just call it opening. Okay. So we'll go to extras. Dude, I remember when this came out, they had, <laughs> like, you could play the cutscenes, but they would only play back in this little box. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and then they finally added the option to full screen them. <laughs> yeah. Is it, uh... uh yeah, it's called World of Colors. Yeah. World of Colors. Okay, so this is yeah. a remastered cutscene for the mod, which is, like, upscaled by hand, you said? Yeah, Astro CP, which is in the chat right now, actually did this, and no. uh, they did a, an amazing job. I've, I'm still like gushing over it of how like clean this is. I, I love the colors it for so much. It's so happy. You yeah. Know, like, oh, if I could so live good. in this game, I would. <laughs> <laughs> People are always like, I would live at Planet Wisp. I feel like I'd live at Tropical Resort just because like it seems like it has livable areas. Oh, you know? yeah, but then I, I'm sure the prices of everything are... Oh, ridiculous, <laughs> yeah. And then you get killed at the end, because Sonic blows up the theme park. <laughs> yep. Ugh. It's okay, you just enjoy it while it lasts. Dude, that's why, when I think about Colors DS and how there are actually people and characters at the theme park, but you don't really see them at the outro, it just feels like Sonic got everyone killed because he didn't tell everyone <laughs> it was going to explode. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, uh... So how, 
speaking of that with Colors DS and the Wii version, so the Wii version originally was going to have the three act system that DS has, mm-hmm. where it was like three acts and then a boss. Uh, but the mission acts that they had made, which were the where the other characters would have shown up, uh, were made mandatory. So that's why you have Yellow Spring levels and like basically tutorial levels for color powers. So okay. it was kind of their way of artificially making the game longer. <laughs> yeah, I've heard stuff about this version of the game as well. Like, like some of the internal file names of the levels kind of allude to the fact that they might have been like, like some of the acts may have been merged at some point and they broke them apart yeah. to make the game longer. Yeah, because like Tropical Resort Act 1 and 2 is just the entirety of the original Act 1. That's so weird. I like I I know there's a mod out there called True Colors that try it, again it messes with the egg satellite or something like it lets you play them in the way that they like were meant their, to be played. They were intended. Yeah. I think uh, I, I, I couldn't would, get the mod to work. It wouldn't work when I was trying it. But uh yeah, getting mods to work for the original game is kind of complicated. You have to extract the game files oh, and then Yeah, you got to unpack the ISO and repack it, right? Yeah. It's kind of complicated for people that don't know what they're doing. Yeah. See, that's interesting, because I've used uh, GC Rebuilder a few times to try and play certain ROM hacks, and sometimes I put the files in like it tells me, and then it just doesn't work. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, I tried. I don't know what to do about it, but... Uh, Pup, the cutscenes are not in the game yet. It's uh, The intro is in, so it, which is what we just watched, but everything else is currently... Uh, like, that's on the way. Yeah. So, after you beat level Tropical Resort Act 1, you have to play uh, EV 110. Okay. I'm gonna, I have that so one the... downloaded, so I can at least show that one. And that's the one that was shown in the video today. Uh, yeah. Thank you again for letting me show that. Oh, yeah, yeah you're welcome. It's you basically have ex- access to our dev folder of <laughs> I will not abuse this privilege, I swear. Nah, you're uh, fine. I trust you. Thank you. I, uh, <laughs> I just, I through this video and this project, I've found that I've just, I knew I liked Sonic Colors, but like I didn't know I liked it this much. Like it's so much fun to play. Yo, oh, Duck absolutely. Dealer, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hi, it's Duck. Hi, Duck. Welcome, welcome everybody. Hope everybody's having a good time. I've known Duck uh, for like seven years. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since what 2018, me and her met, and it was to work on uh, Overclocked, and it's like infancy. Oh dang! That's what I love about Sonic. You know, like these projects, you meet people, and Sonic just kind of brings people together, and it also and tears people rips apart. Them apart. <laughs> like, yeah, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is horrible the... degree. It's... Trust but... me, I've had my fair share of Twitter debates where I've gotten kind of mean. You know. I feel like we all have, but after a certain amount of time, it just kind of gets to the point where it's like, you know, I'm just not even going to say anything on Twitter ever. <laughs> I don't want to talk to anything. No, I want to debate with everyone. I'm the one that's, I'm the only one that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So that's level one. So actually, I think the cutscene plays after level two. So we'll, Oh, we'll does it? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've played this game, like fresh. Yeah, it, it's interesting. <laughs> I, I remembered it playing after Act 1 as well, but then when I was recording footage, because I needed footage of the original cutscene, I started the game over, and I was like, wait, where, did I skip it? And it's actually <laughs> after Act 2. And I was like, oh, there it is. He's going to say, this is epic. And, you know, like, put his finger in the air. Every, like, his giant one of their brothers is going to want to come here. Yeah, with their big hands. That's <laughs> been in debate recently on Twitter. Uh about Sonic's big hands. The debate? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you mean the debating hand size? What do you mean? Uh, apparently, like, people are complaining that uh, Sonic's hands are way too big for his proportions. So, like, his hands are just, like, unnaturally large. But how else is he gonna, like, hold things? Uh, I don't... I don't know. But I, the reason why the other hands are so big is I think it's just, like, a remnant of Oshima's original designs. Where, because the way Oshima does characters is, you know, big hands, small bodies. Like, heck, even Balan has that. Balan's got massive hands, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Knights has regular human hands, though. Knights is... So I think Knights is, like, peak character design, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I agree. Oh, gosh. So, if you'd notice, uh, the laser over uh, overlay has been fixed. It does not misalign anymore. I did notice that, because I remember being really annoyed by that when I played the original Colors Ultimate. It was such an easy fix. It was literally one line of code to add <laughs> that made it so that the separate camera tracked the same field of view as the main camera. That's upsetting to hear a little bit, honestly. <laughs> it's, it was such a simple fix that was never patched, and it made me so sad. Okay, let's see. I'm going to play that cutscene now, because I have that first one downloaded. Time to download uh, the rest, Will. <laughs> wow. a, I think that might tank the stream. <laughs> so these, oh, like, really? This is all, all in 2K. Is that what it was? What, yeah, they're all in 2K resolution. I didn't want to go too crazy with like 4K, because I felt like it was unnecessary. Which is what Blind Squirrel did with their AI upscales. They made them 4K, <laughs> but they still look like crap. Four K cutscenes in in Colors Ultimate, and they still look like that. Yeah, they're four K AI upscaled. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, well, that's kind of sad. All right. I think this should be. Yep. Yeah, okay. So this will be. Uh, this is the first cutscene. Hopefully, I can. I think what we should, could do is instead of me downloading them all right now, maybe we could just point them to your YouTube channel, and they could check out the cutscenes at their leisure. Yes, they could, but I may have been lazy and forgot to add, like, the last, like, three. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I mean, that, they can still see the cutscene. Like, not all of them, but, like, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But here, this is the one I've got downloaded, and we'll watch this right now. This is a very good one. Here. It's so crisp. He loves to hear Very his own crisp. lips flap, That's but what I, I gotta for. hand it to the angster. This place is epic. Everyone and their brother is gonna want to come here. No doubt. But now I'm not sure why we're here. This place looks totally harmless. Because Eggman I, plus I don't like the story of colors that much. I think it's goofy, but like, oh god, it's so us, funny to watch. Oh yeah. It, so it has that Saturday morning cartoon kind of feel to it. Definitely does. Park surrounded by planets. Still, an evil plot? Oh, so I don't know. Uh, like how when they move, it's like, oh my god, it's like I'm really wow. there. Plot or not, <laughs> can't be mad at this view. It's like place is putting your glasses on the for the first time. <laughs> In the morning, it was so easy to see here. here. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that. A cat is reawoken yet again. <gasps> Hello, happy people. Buckle up as Eggman's ultra accelerating <laughs> space elevator whips. I wasn't expecting the pre-rendered ones. To, I mean, I guess that would make it be weird if they weren't changed. But like, the pre-rendered ones are also upscaled. Just like the yeah, Astro Seed also uh, upscaled these as best as uh, he could because the Colors Ultimate ones were still kind of crusty. Mm. So he did his best. It may not be perfect, but they I think they're superior to what you have in Vanilla Colors Ultimate. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, when I was recording the cutscene, the original cutscene, I was looking at this and I was like... Like, like I might as well have not had my glasses on. <laughs> it was so crusty. Alright, here. Cat is here. It's Daisy! Cat. Oh, bless you. I see the tail. <laughs> Oh, kitty! Little kitty! <laughs> she's a little baby. She, I mean, she's 11, but she's a little baby. Oh. <sighs> Every time she wakes up, <laughs> I think, I don't know if it comes up on the Discord or, or on the OBS microphone, but like, she wakes up and she just goes, Meow! Meow! <laughs> look at me! Look at! Attention, please! Yeah, I woke up! Look at me! Ooh, that shot looks great. Like, yeah, with the orange and reddish lighting, I really wanted to, like, emphasize it there. Again, again! Dude, I expected it to go back to the, uh, <laughs> the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be a reality soon. Yeah, just, hell yeah. Just let my, let my cryware guy cook. He's oh, been yeah. busy no, with real cooking. life stuff. 
<laughs> if you'd also noticed, uh, you, you kind of skimmed over it in your video, the dash panels and dash rings no longer make a spring sound effect. Oh. You know, I think I didn't remember that happening like that. That's probably why. Like, there are yeah, little things it, in Sonic that I just don't notice sometimes. Like, it, it, it's like little things like that, like sound effects. But I, I know what it, you mean now. Because, like, I think a lot of the games so do that. It was so distracting. It was so distracting in Ultimate. Because, like, the original did not have a spring sound Oops. effect. Really? So they... Ch why did they add that? They just, it, who knows? <laughs> That's the golden question. <laughs> they noticed there wasn't, like... a. A sound effect, so they were like, ah, oh, just put the other sound effect in it, who cares? They're no, not gonna notice. What's, what's hilarious is the original sound effect plays, but so does the spring! It's like layered? Like yeah. An onion? Oh, jeez. Yeah, Colors Ultimate. A little, a little goofy, a little silly game. Oh, trust yeah. me, I know everything there is to know about this game. I believe you. But, like, also. <sighs> The amount of times I've been, I've been playing these levels over the last week, it, it's just like, even if it looks awful, like I had to like, I was looking at the original, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't remember it looking this bad. But like, <laughs> it plays so good still. Like, it's still such a good game, I don't know. I just, I really like Sonic Colors, I think it's, like, I think we were talking about this at one point, like, even the 2D sections, like, even though there's a lot of them, they still control really well. Yeah, yeah, and future 3D Sonic games still haven't nailed that quite right because of Lost World. Yeah, especially like even Lost... Frontiers, the 2D stuff is a little weird. Yeah, they they tried to like kind of adjust it slightly from Forces, but it still has that like mid-air stiffness. It's you know I think the spin dash helps a little bit with that, but it's not like you, you just can't use the spin dash 24/7, so it doesn't really like fix the problem. Uh, they got a question for you up there. Vess says, has the hover has the hover wisp on the title screen been animated? Do you mean the uh, the jade? Do you mean wisp? the jade wisp? The jade wisp uh, does not have anima uh, animations other than her like default idol for right now, but she will have an animation by release. I promise. See, that's another thing I only noticed when I was playing the game side by side, because I I looked and I was like, okay, th these wisps are not synced up for some reason. I don't know why they're like doing different formations, but then I looked and I was like, oh wait a minute. I didn't know Jade Ghost was on the... I was like, maybe it's because I have 100% in this one, but then I, I looked at it, and it was like, oh, no. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I added that. Was added. Yeah, I put <laughs> Jade there because I felt like she she's an addition to this game, and she doesn't really get shown. Yeah, no, I, that makes a lot of sense to me, like, putting the new feature of your remaster on the title screen. Like, I feel like a lot of people would do that. Yeah, I, uh... In... The cutscenes, actually, uh, where there's like a lot of wisps on screen, I've actually hidden Jade in quite a few of them, just as a little Easter egg. Huh. All right. So I've taken okay. some creative liberties while also staying true to the original. That's good. I feel like that's what it deserves, you know? Like, uh, did I play? Okay, yeah, so we're on this level now. Jeez, it feels like I'm flying through this without having a, like... <laughs> I don't know what level... I don't know what level it like is before the next cutscene play <laughs> i don't know either it's been so long. i think i'm just gonna let people go oh shoot i'm just gonna let people go to your youtube channel and see them when they want to because i don't know when they're supposed to play <laughs> i mean we could just guess if, if you want to go through that challenge and that headache it's also very good <laughs> guess do it yeah, let's play the final boss cutscene right here perfect we'll get, get there eventually but uh <laughs> what was i gonna say um Oh, it's also very good playing this game when all the wisps are unlocked. I feel like that's oh, yeah, this game really just feels good to play. Like, real good. It adds replayability. Uh, and I really like that. But a lot of people don't like the wisps. And it makes me sad. Because I love the little, little freaky little aliens. I don't dislike the wisps, right? Like, it's in this game especially, I like them a lot. Because that's like, it's the whole point, you know? Like, th this is their place. You're saving their home world. Sonic is here to help them. In Lost yeah. World, it's a little weird that they're just there, you know, and then they're like, yeah, oh, Sonic no saved them, so they're hanging out. <laughs> but, I don't know, we didn't get that explanation until, like, the IDW comics, right? Like, uh, Runners actually explained it. The mobile runners. game. <laughs> oh, man. I, 
I hadn't thought about that. That there is like a little bit of story in that game, isn't there? Yeah, and it's canon. <laughs> that game's so interesting to me. Cause there's a project called um, Sonic Runners Revival, I think. Yeah, I remember when that started. It, it's, and I don't mean like the the remake of Runners itself. I mean like there's a fan game that's like a. It's it's almost like a sequel to Runners, or like almost like a, if Runners was made today, right? And mm. it's styled like Sonic Forces. Like, all the menus are styled like Sonic Forces and stuff. And I was like, that's really interesting. Because, like, I don't... Like, I don't think I love the design of Sonic Forces menus. They look okay. But then I realized it's because Runners is styled after Lost World. So if Runners was made in the modern day, it would be styled after that game. So it yeah. took me a bit to, like, come up with that. That was a boss fight? Whoops. Forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Runners Reloaded, yeah. Not Runners Revival. Yeah, re Runners Revival. Yeah. Good. I forgot. <laughs> the name was Reloaded. I feel so bad. They all start I know with some R. Who work on that. <clears throat> now, let's see. Sorry to sour the moon of this, but they. Hold on. What? What they, are you souring? They decanonize Runners? You're joking. Oh, is it not in the book anymore? <laughs> this, this encyclopedia or whatever? <gasps> Isn't that thing like really inaccurate? <laughs> I like I've heard from some of my friends that have it that there's screenshots in it that are incorrect. Like they have a green, uh, like an Emerald Hill screenshot for Green Hill somewhere, or I know or like the O6 like page a... has okay. like a mod from Heroes, oh, yeah. like a, a a Heroes like mod for O6 or something like that. They really they just went on Google and searched like Sonic 06 and put whatever they saw. They were like, yeah, that's probably real. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't envy making something that is supposed to appeal to Sonic fans. Because, like, I know people are extremely perceptive and picky about certain things. So it must mm. be difficult, right? But I, I feel like at this point, like, you know, you know in Sonic Prime how they had, like, the random, like, general jump scare in that animated yeah. segment? Oh, yeah. It feels I've... to me that, like, Sega either doesn't give people what they need, so they just go find whatever they think is real, or if they do give them the right thing, they just don't tell them what anything is. What's like, funny is Colors Ultimate actually does, well, did that a lot, uh, like, earlier in development. Uh... The day one version actually uses, I believe, it's a fan render of Metal oh, Sonic. The, the Metal, Metal Sonic, Sonic render, yeah. I, I yeah. remember that. That was like a, on Twitter, people were like, What are you doing? How can you do this? <laughs> and an early render that they use for the Super Sonic page uh, in the option satellite is Nabrock's uh, Adventure Super Sonic render. <laughs> and it's still in the files. <laughs> I guess... I mean, it's not like they updated the game very much, you know, like, it's... Did it, did it have, like, one or two updates? But it wasn't anything it had... like super substantial? I think it had four. Four updates? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it surprisingly had more than most people think. Uh, the update I remember the most was the last update, which is where they mixed all of the audio down to mono to just Ugh. kind of... They just gave up on the audio mix. <laughs> I was actually going into the options menu today before the stream because I wanted to see if I could turn down the homing attack sound. Nope. But But uh, voices, or sorry, music and sound effects are still tied to the same slider. Which yeah. Is very unfortunate. Uh, so with Three Rainbow, it is planned to lower the volume of that screechy perfect homing attack. Ooh. All right. Well, that's good because I also went to look on Game Banana if there was a mod for that, and there wasn't. Nope, so, not yet. Not yet. I was kind of like, oh, man. <laughs> they promised another update coming, but so far it's radio silence. Yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath for that at this point. There, So there was supposed to be a patch for the game after it came out on Steam, but it's just kind of sitting in limbo. Yeah, honestly, okay. So I guess I'm... I, I hope that this is not part of the problem, you know, because I, I did go and I bought Sonic Colors Ultimate on Steam for the purpose of making the video that released today. Because I wasn't <laughs> able to play the game in two windows at the same time on Epic. They wouldn't let me do that. Uh, so uh, thankfully, it's on sale. 
I, I think it's on sale for another day or two, but it's only like $11, so I was like, you know, whatever. You know, like, this is gonna be a fun video to do, so I'll, I'll just put these two windows side by side. So that comparison thing is actually the Epic Games and Steam version running side by side with the mod only running on the Epic Games version. Hmm. And uh, the Steam version was very weird with my controller. I'm not 100% really? sure why, because Steam input's usually really good, but for some reason, the input icons were always for, like, they're either, like, generic controller or Nintendo controllers. They would never switch to the PS4 controller or PS5 ones like I have now. That's just... very strange. Because I, I do know, like, the other button icons exist in the files, but I did not know that they were used. I thought the game always just forced you to have the Xbox ones. Uh, Duck says, forces TSR and ultimate all TSR. Oh, man. That's the one that hurts the most, I think, that it didn't get any updates. Because, like, that game's... Like, I know a lot of people rag on it, but it, I think TSR is actually a really fun game, especially with friends. But mm -hmm. the servers were so bad, and, like, the content's just so lacking that it just it didn't really... It wasn't worth it. And then Crash Team Racing came out, and I was like, oh, my God. It was the like, same week, might, too. <laughs> this might be the best pl uh, racer I've ever played. Uh, it's so disappointing with TSR. I, I've been playing it recently with a couple of buddies of mine, and we've been having a blast, and it's just like, wow, this game is a bit slept on, but the reason why it is is because I had no post-launch content. It's so, so sad. Like, like, I didn't hate the story mode. I thought that was pretty neat. Like, it, it's goofy. Like, it's just a silly little story mode, but so is Crash Team Racing. So, you know, like, there's not a ton mm -hmm. to that either. I it, love that the like... story mode is fully voice acted in TSR. Yeah, like, they spent a lot of time doing that. And, <laughs> I don't know, it's... It's cool. I, I like all the poses. I think the renders in TSR look really nice. By the way, it's... I... I was one of the people that ripped those. Really? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've, I've used those for things, so thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> I think I had to use those for, like, thumbnails or, like, just... YouTube videos at some point. I don't know. I, I don't remember what I made. Yeah, I love those renders. Those, those are great. I still don't know who did them to this day. I think they were done in-house at Sumo Digital. It is very stylized in a way that a lot of the renders aren't. Like... Mm -hmm. uh, what can I use? Oh, yeah. You know, we're going to go that way. We're going to try at least. Oh, you're going to take the upper route? Yeah, I don't think I'd really go up here ever, so... Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you gotta use the wisps, yeah. and people hate the wisps. Yeah, we don't like wisps. They they, they replace Sonic's abilities. But... Oh, God. No, they're, Sonic they're a replacement a for Sonic's friends. Oh, I hate it. Oh, oh jelly beans. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the purpose of him having missiles full of jelly beans? I never understood that. Uh, quick transport, I guess. Or... Okay, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, Eggman built a lot of this stuff, yeah? Yeah, it's a candy factory. Okay. So what was here to begin with? Was it not candy themed when he got here? I, uh, I guess the planet was made of junk food. That's somehow, awesome. and it knows like American junk food. <laughs> it's like my house, made of junk but, food. And he was like, "I want to harvest this so I can sell it." So that's why there's a candy factory. Eggman and might in fact be American, with with thoughts like that. Absolutely. game's so fun so uh <laughs> if i forgot to say it while you were playing uh act two uh the uh you can actually see it on the world uh the hub area here the burger has uh white bits in it and you would initially think those are onions they're not they're eggs really that There's, that like that, slice that, down there yeah you if you look huh. really close you can see a little bit of yellow yolk sticking out you know i respect eggman for that not just because it's his namesake but also because egg on burger is like so good oh yeah having it's a like nice fried sick. egg on on a burger is like heaven oh, this level. <laughs> I, I know it's like i almost like the egg to be like over easy as well i know it's like really messy but mm -hmm. like god but runny eggs damn, good. is that good oh it's so good that, that's i feel like i'm gonna have to get that for dinner now after <laughs> saying that I only like this level because of the new added ghost route. Because it just makes it 
go by so much faster without having to do the elevator uh, elevator portion. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to try that because when I was uh, I was playing this earlier because I I know the so the, like the the stuttering thing because of the shaders. I, I have had the game running now for, which also kind of concerns me a little bit because like, I've had the game running for like maybe three, four hours and I've been mm -hmm. like entering levels and leaving them to hopefully just make it so there's not very much stutter, which so far I've yeah. not really seen anything. Uh, yeah, but it's, uh... I don't want that to be an issue that's fixed soon. It's it's in the works. It's just the way that this game handles pre-compiled shaders yeah. is a no, mess. I mean, honestly, what, you've got, what you guys have done so far has been monumental and I it, like I feel like it would be unrealistic to expect it to just function perfectly immediately with how weird the game is on its own. Yeah. Uh, but I mean currently this is like I mean it's been running really well. Like I, all it takes is like a couple times like I restart a level and I, I really don't see much. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I had had a little bit less stutter when I was recording for the video, but I think the fact that I had two windows of it running, I think my computer was. A so what you want to do that. actually is go back uh, to the back. left, yeah, okay. uh, back to where you were on that elevator portion. If you can kind of wall jump back up there. Uh, right, that's right. You can wall jump anywhere in this game. Yeah, like Unleashed. Yeah, that's. Be I've always found it, it weird they took can, that out of generations. Because the ghost route is actually up there. Uh, up there. Yeah, I, oh, that Ekpon just committed suicide. I think I Did need to know? die. Yeah, hold on, let's see. Will that Did you not come see down? the Ekpon just jump off? I, <laughs> he I jumped did off the land. Looks like Sonic CD, Sonic. Uh, that guy. Is you? Not gonna come down here. No, he's not. He's just gonna spin his whisk around. Uh, you might have to go to the next se section, and I think it's another elevator for you, or you can just restart. Oh. Yeah, that works too. Oh, that's all good. I, this level's not very long anyway. We can just keep going. <laughs> Let's see. Unfortunately, I am watching the stream with a delay. So oh, yeah, what, you what you're Hold doing? I can send it. I can stream it on Discord probably. <gasps> I just I don't want it to eat up all your bandwidth though. That's my only worry. Oh, uh, I mean, if it starts to have any weirdness on stream, we can just uh, we can just stop it. But is that okay? Can you see it now? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, guys, let us know if the uh, the stream starts lagging or having any issues. I think it should be okay. Like, I, I just upgraded my, my wireless router, or sorry, my wireless card in my computer recently. So I'm actually streaming at a higher bit rate in general. But uh, we'll see. How do you pronounce Eggman's first name? Ivo, like Evo, or the right way, Ivo? It's, That's incorrect. Ivo? I thought, I thought it was Ivo Robotnik. Isn't that how they always say it? Is that how is that I, incorrect? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it is. I think that's I think that's real. So, do you like the new design for the park tokens? Oh yeah. No, that's actually. So there are a couple things that's I didn't actually not in new. The video. <laughs> oh really? It's unused. It's the original design for the park tokens before they got changed to the really generic, like symbol. That's strange. What? Why would they do I don't that? know why. I don't know. I was like, these look better, so Re Rambo's going to use them. <laughs> it, it, it makes more sense to me that they would be Eggman-themed because it's his amusement park. Exactly. Like, Not to mention... Okay, tokens. so what you want to do is go back to the left on that elevator portion. Okay. And then, because you see that, that row of platforms in the top right, you want to jump yeah. up there. But okay. not go too fast. <laughs> So it's the inner mechanism uh, machinations of blind squirrels' minds are an enigma. There you go. Oh, okay. So then he can homing attack these fellas and skip the elevator. Yep. Okay. I love the Jade Wisp song. I think it's really good. But also, yeah. I don't really like... I, I think a lot of the other Wisp songs are unnecessary noise, and I wish that there was a way to turn them off. Oh, like Spike? Yeah. Spikes is <laughs> like okay, thanks guys. Like at least like drill is like it has like kind of a beat to it. Mm. Or hover's okay. Is noise. Yeah. yeah I, I feel have like you I would actually them heard? All. Have you actually heard the unused hover uh, song that was supposed to be used for the multiplayer? No. It's oh, dude, like I almost said, is beautiful. there a multiplayer in this game? Like Sonic Simulator doesn't exist. <laughs> 
What do you mean they have one player, 1.5 player, and two player? What are you talking about? I don't know how 1.5 player works. You got half day. a friend hanging out. They can play two. I, I haven't heard that song though. What it, it, it's just unused for multiplayer because Hover's not in multiplayer. Is it... it is. It is. It is in multiplayer, but it, the track is just not used. It. Uh, the name of the track is called United, but with the Hover Wisps ID, uh, and the United State. Uh, the, not not the country. The United uh, States of America. <laughs> <laughs> is we're in the files of the game. <laughs> is when uh, both simulator Sonics use uh, a wisp power at the same time, they'll get like a unique ability. Huh. And they were supposed to have unique so uh, music tracks for that, but for some reason it just didn't come to fruition. That's right. <laughs> like, S. Oh, Skameric. Sorry if I mispronounced your name in the video, by the way. They said 1.5 players when your friend's only paying half attention. <laughs> That's. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty average. Oh yeah, SK, um, Merrick is in here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, thank you for making colors, Exporter. <laughs> yes, that was, you, thank you for all of your good things that you've done. They, they helped tremendously with the cutscenes. Like, it would literally have been impossible without them. That's a round of applause, perhaps. I think if I hit this crowd cheer button, it's going to be really loud. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> but that was good. I, I'm i very glad that so many people were... Like I was saying earlier, Sonic really brings people together. So many people just, like, able to come together and make something that's, like, legitimately... I would say this is, like, awe-inspiring, practically. Like, like, when you look at the original game, like, I was almost, like... Cause Truthfully, when you sent me the mod, right, I started the mod up first before going back to Colors Ultimate, the original. Mm. And I was like, I know that this game doesn't look good. Like, I know it doesn't look good, but when I was playing the mod, I was like, wow, this looks real good. What does the original look like again? I went back and played it, and I was like, <laughs> oh my oh. god. <laughs> like, how did this, like, get released? It's disgusting. I, th the thing is, I think they just didn't know what, like how like certain things worked so they just kind of winged it I, I feel bad because like i feel like they've probably heard it enough times you know but like it, it's it's unreasonably disgusting looking yeah it's bad <laughs> it, it's just straight up it's bad like i hate to i'd never like to be that way against like other artists because all of us 3d artists like to you know be uh, very proactive with feedback, but Colors Ultimate is just, it's just awful. It's its like a, a very... I, I, I don't even know I how wish to it wasn't. It. I, I really wish it wasn't. Like, it has the benefit of at least still being a good game, you know? But yeah, like, it's under all of that muck. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, to praise it a little bit, I, I do like that they added those customization options, even if it's kind of hard to see most of the time. Uh, yeah. Things like that, like adding the Tails assist instead of a live system, cool. I don't like having live systems in games anymore. I feel like it's a really archaic thing. Yeah, uh, I agree. Like, they did good work on, on the game. Like, it's not all pathetic. It's mostly in the visual department and then, you know, some weird decisions here and there with, like, uh... Like, do you guys remember how, when the game came out, if you had the DLC for the the upgraded, or sorry, the, the remixed music pack, you couldn't hear the original songs anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like, you, you for, for, for Planet back. Wisp, yeah, you couldn't switch back. They didn't do that until, like, a patch that came out, like, what, six months later? It was crazy. That That's point, one thing no one I saw in the anymore. options today, and I was like, oh, cool, because I used to have a mod that did that. Yeah. You know, like, but, I don't know. They made some good songs, made some good additions. And the now, boss remix would be just peak. I, love I think a lot remixes. of these. Oh, whoops! You just got smushed. I, I, <laughs> you just is that an you. instant kill? N no, I think you just didn't have any rings. I didn't have rings. I wasn't looking. So, by the way, uh, the Ooh. names of these bosses are actually not known unless you like look at the OST. So the first boss in Tropical Resort's name is Rotatatron. Rotatatron, right? Or Rotatatron? Yeah. Rotatatron, Rotatatron, potato, potato. <laughs> and oh. this is Captain. Oh my goodness! You 
You got smush. <laughs> I was gonna use the this... drill wisp and turn him into jelly. Because he's Captain Jelly, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Captain Jelly. And then the Aquarium Park one is Admiral Jelly, because, you know, submarine. So he's... Is uh, it the same guy, you think? Uh, that would be hilarious. I'm back for more! <laughs> but, uh, okay. yeah, and then there's Orkin and Scullion. I like those. Those bosses are actually pretty fun. I, I like that in this uh, game oh, well, you can use the... He hit me again. I can't believe I just let him do that again. You gotta keep moving. <laughs> You're Sonic. The, uh, those boss, I think it's cool that these bosses can be cheesed really easily if you have the wisp powers. Like, they just do ridiculous damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a free and that extra is, hit. I think that's also carried over to Lost World, right? If you do a fully charged homing attack, because you gotta remember that Lost World had, like, a homing attack oh. charge mechanic to it. Yeah, that was a mistake. It was very weird, like the the Zavik boss fight, especially where it's like required in order to beat it. You have to yeah. kind of stand there for at least like two full seconds for it to fully charge, and it's just really awkward. And it's weird because they don't really, I, I know they don't Tell really you. teach you like every single thing, but if it's essential like that in a boss fight, I feel like they need to tell sure. you. Like we were talking well, uh, on the Sunset City podcast like twenty minutes ago, I was talking to my friend Channel Pop, my friend Little Boulder. And we were mentioning the, uh, the the Sonic Frontiers Final Horizon boss fight where, you know, you have to use the quick step as Super Sonic to switch targets and you had never had to do that before and they no never told you about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just so weird that, like, eventually, I think when they updated Final Horizons, they uh, uh, they said they added something to Knight that actually makes it so he will, uh, or sorry, that boss fight will show how that works, which is kind of nice. It's only on easy mode. It only shows up on easy mode. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Why bother? <laughs> oh, God. It's, there's so many weird decisions. I don't know. Well, I also Starlight Carnival had like a huge glow up. Well, I mean, glow down in Re Rainbow. <laughs> I'm very proud of how, how it turned out. Looking at um, Starlight Carnival specifically in Colors Ultimate, that was the level like, where I was like, I feel like I need sunglasses to be here. <laughs> it's like it what happens when you have at. a nail stuck in your eye. Oh, gosh. You ain't kidding. <laughs> uh, so another thing that most people didn't notice that it was actually a visual error was the loading screen. You know, it has the little like map icon. Yeah. Starlight Carnivals isn't animated for whatever really? reason. The, yeah, the animation static. got broken. No, yeah, they just sat static, just completely still, and oh. it got the animation itself was broken, so I had to fix that. I was so I mad. I love <laughs> I was like, the look Ow. of this. This stage is probably one of my favorite Sonic stages visually. It's oh yeah, so I, I honestly good. wish they brought it back for Gens instead of Planet Wisp. I I understand why it was Planet Wisp, but like, gosh, this is so. Uh, you know what? Actually. There's a pretty extensive Generations mod that I think I played a long time ago where it adds every act of Tropical Resort into Generations and it even gives it a hub world. Oh that yeah, one was uh, there's cool. one for there's one for Starlight Carnival as well. Uh, while it, the hub world is a little bit more basic, it's fully 2D. Hey, that's all good to me. I mean, like, so was the Generations hub world. <laughs> oh yeah, the the ships down there don't pop in anymore whenever you're skydiving. Fix oh, that. Goodness. That was an easy See, fix. I feel like I was too busy being blinded by the bloom to notice that. <laughs> you didn't notice? <laughs> it's just like, I'm used to this just being broken. Just it's used like, to what? Sonic looking like this, sorry. Where do the motobugs go? I think you jumped over the trigger. <laughs> that can happen. I'm not even joking. You, you will, I've never you seen literally... that before. Yeah, you'll just run in limbo. I know they every knew... glitch with this game. They knew I wanted to see the motobugs and they took them away from me. Yeah, I actually had to fix an issue with them. Uh, their tires aren't animated in Vanilla Colors Ultimate, so their tires don't spin. They just kind of slide. Let's see. The, the giant black-colored motobug from this level, you've been trying to figure out if it had its own variant name for the longest time, and it still haunts you to this day. Uh, I actually, I can check what their internal name is right now. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? If you have these questions, you're in the right place to ask them. <laughs> 
I hold on. Let me get my Godot editor kind of together. Oh man, it's it. It was Godot, wasn't it? I kept saying Godot. Add uh, again, potato, <laughs> potato. It. I, I was thinking of. Um, I did the same thing. If anyone's ever played uh, Ace Attorney, that series is a character named uh, Prosecutor Good. Godot, and I I just <laughs> always called him Godot because that's just how it's spelled. That's hilarious. I, I remember seeing something about his name being Godot, and I was like, oh, hey, I know that. <laughs> okay, He's let me cool see. He's a cool character. He's, like, one of my favorites. And I did him so, dirty like that. Sonic! Oh! The internal name uh, for the Motobugs are called Motoras. And the black one is just called Motobug B. Really so wait, the, it's not... so the regular ones are called Motoras, but then that one's called Motobug B. Yeah, or Mo, Mo, like so their internal like model name is Motora. Meanwhile, their texture name is Motobug. Oh, okay. no oh, sorry, I see what you mean. Yeah, but it's just A and B. Okay, I mean that's fair. I guess they don't need to. <laughs> they don't, uh, the lore doesn't need to expand for that. So someone asked. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Colors Ultimate is the first high-profile game to use Godot. Actually, I think it is. It was the first, like, major game release that uses Godot. God, this game's so cool. I love how this game looks. <laughs> Thank you for this. Oh, gosh. I just, I think Starlight Carnival is so cool. <laughs> it's such a cool stage. Oh my god. Yeah. Puppy boy. But I'm doing alright. How are you? Also, you'll have that one person. Has been dropping in. Sorry, I, I've been... When, when I'm talking to people in the stream, I, I, it's tough for me to like play the game, talk to people, and... Oh. Oh, stutter. Uh, yep, that's a tough for me to do all of this stutter. at the same time. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to look at the chat whenever I can. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been trying to look at it, but I've been getting distracted as well. Oh, you know, it's okay. I, I just it's... like looking at this game. Um, what? Excuse- huh. What? Oh, huh? That was weird. Well, that's new. I gotta add that to the list. Cube didn't cube <laughs> today, I guess. I, I Maybe I was too close to the ground and it like, it couldn't spawn the model or something. I, 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 don't, oh, I don't know. I saw those spikes. Like... You have to use, you have to use the spike whisk to get in there. Oh. You know what? That makes sense. Too bad I just switched you, it out for the cube wisp again. Have you noticed that the bomb blocks don't make that weird, like, whoosh sound effect whenever you activate them anymore? Oh, that's another like, thing whoosh. I didn't notice to begin with, I don't think. <laughs> but I'm glad that you're here to mention these things, because it, it can help me appreciate it. Yeah, a lot, a lot of work has gone into this. Like, so much, like, it's, it's insane. And the mod size, like, just the visuals, like, not cutscenes or audio, just on its own is only two gigabytes, which is just as big as the original colors' like, graphical files were and level files. God, I, I remember downloading Colors Ultimate uh, when it was, you know, when it was new, because I... 40 gigabytes. I got the, <laughs> I got a code for it to, to, like, make the video. I remember I was playing it, and I, I played the whole game the day before it came out, because I had to, like, rush to get the video done. Mm -hmm. And... I, uh, when I was downloading it, I, my friend was like, hey, how, what's the file size on that thing? And I told him <laughs> file size, and I was like, I bet you the original ROM's still in there. Or the original <laughs> ISO, it, and we looked in the files, and, like, there's just yeah, so much original shit still in the files. Yeah, it, yeah. It was so funny. Now, what's also hilarious, and what causes the most bloat, is, so, uh, uh Blind Scroll had for some reason use different texture compression types for each platform so he kind of pops in there that's gonna be fixed i promise okay <laughs> it's all good but uh anyway if there's different they use different texture compression types for each console platform uh i don't know why but hmm. there is a there are at least three duplicates of every texture in the game <laughs> oh they left in every version from every console uh, yeah, and the, the day oh. one version also left in all of the shader cache from every console. Oh, gosh. And it was on Epic as well, so it probably took, like, double time to install for whatever reason. Yep. 
Uh, let's see. That was that was not like senseless complaining in the video. Also, for anyone who saw that, like I I generally like in that moment that was not in the script. I just stopped for a second because I was thinking about <laughs> the Epic Game Store. I was like, dude, why does it take four times the amount of time any Steam game takes to download or update if I'm using Epic? I, I don't understand. <laughs> That's just an like, Epic thing. I don't. I don't know either. That's why I, I hate Epic. And ever since Colors released on Steam, I haven't looked back. The only reason I'm still playing on Epic is because I have all of the DLC and stuff on this, and I did not want to buy it again. Uh, or I, yeah, I, I don't I, believe you. Sorry, they, I didn't. That came with the review code. They didn't make me buy that. But that was. Uh, I, I didn't want to buy it, period, I guess I could say. Uh, someone asked, do, do Sonic's eyes move? Yes, they do in Project Red Rainbow. That was, like, the first thing I did was make his eyes animated. You, uh, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. In the original, his eyes were just dead and glossy. Like, he didn't move them. Yeah, he was, he was like you're controlling a corpse. I totally forgot about that. He's like a drained of all blood corpse. <laughs> <laughs> He's been embalmed. Oh gosh, alright, some of these levels I don't remember very well. Like, there we go. I, for the yeah, video and stuff, I, I mainly acts. stuck to like the main acts, because I was like, these are the ones that people play and enjoy. These aren't bad, though. Actually, I just got hit. That sucks. This level's awful. It's not my fault, I swear. You know what's another thing about this game that I forgot about? Uh, if you get a hundred ring- you know those, like, hundred ring pickups? It just yeah. randomly gives you invincibility. Yeah, but if you pick- but if you just pick up a hundred regular rings, it doesn't. So it's like, what's the point? And it's <laughs> like, even Radical it... Soda was like, that's stupid. It doesn't even, <laughs> like, really do a good job of explaining it. Like, you just get a little visual effect. And then it goes away, and it's like, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Blue Wolf, I think there's another question for you there. About Tropical oh. Resort. Uh, uh, d d d d Is there a name difference with other Badnik variants, like the Purple Choppers, Blue Molds, Turkish Jaws? Um, I believe it's just alphabetic. But I can check real quick. Um... <clears throat> So, uh, what's funny is the 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 enemy name that uses Jaws isn't the Choppers from Green Hill that the game uses. It's the sharks in Aquarium Park, the robotic sharks. I, I mean, I guess if anything is going to be called Jaws, that that makes sense. Actually, you know what? I have a question for you. Which is not about Sonic Colors. This is um. So I've said your name, Blue Wolf Blitz, about a hundred times throughout the stream and making the video and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if you're a Blue Wolf Blitz, why is your avatar purple? <laughs> I've had this conversation so many times. So when you sent me the, the, the little reactive images like, for the Discord thing, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> your name's Blue Wolf Blitz, but your avatar is a purple rabbit. Yes. Why? Dude, I didn't. I didn't yeah. think about the wolf part. I didn't. <laughs> I was just about the, the reason blue. why. The reason why my name is Blue Wolf uh, oh. is because it was originally Blue Wolf, Blue, uh, Blue Wolf Boy, and it's because my dad gave me that username because he was Blue Wolf Man, so oh. I was the Blue Wolf Boy. But okay. as I've gotten older, I just I wanted an, a name change, and Jaden from the Sonic Show recommended Blue Wolf Blitz. So nice. I was like, that has a ring to it. So I've stuck with it ever since. That's good. That's good. And not to say that like your avatar has to match your user. Of course, that's not how it works. I, I was just, I thought it was funny. But I, yeah. it's funny. I didn't think of the wolf part. <laughs> when you sent me the <laughs> rabbit, I was like, yeah, why is it purple instead of, sorry, why is she purple instead of blue? Uh, because Knights is purple. That's a good point. Yeah, I my, that. my rabbit is very heavily Knights inspired. Good. Like we said earlier, Knights is peak character design. Absolutely. Where are th what are these little Ooh. choppers' names? Some guy just saying the names of Sonic games in the chat. Thank you. We could go on Wikipedia for that as well. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Sonic and Secret Rings in Lost World. That's not how you spell heroes. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sonic heroes. 
Oh no. Um, what, are you are you doing okay there? I was stuck. There, yeah. <laughs> just bumping around. I thought that I, love I would how just this stage looks. slip through like there, the shadows but it didn't there. work out. Like yeah, the, this is an interesting function. stage. I, I feel like this is one of the better side stages. Like, they, they actually add a lot of, like, unique platforming and stuff here. Yeah, I, I like how you're actually climbing one of the starships. <laughs> Sonic Heroes. Dude, that sounds pretty good. Tasty, even. Yeah, so... There is a metal spinner. Yeah, these guys. Uh, there's actually an electric variant. There... What, what's hilarious is the regular spinners are called spinners, but the electric ones are called spanners. Why? I don't know. <laughs> spinners and spanners, I guess just to differentiate, I don't know. Yeah. Well, oh, Sonic good... Team is like known for like having weird English for their internal file names. Like, the like one that I vividly know is enforces the traffic cones in Sunset Heights are called road corn. <laughs> road corn. Yeah, they're called road corn. <laughs> it sounds like something that would be in like Sweet Mountain or something. All right, here we go, Sonic. Here we go again. Yeah. Someone asked, did you fix the hover dash? I. Uh, is there a problem with hover dash? So that was a bug initially with the game where it would be too slow, uh, especially in the Switch version. I, I could have sworn that they fixed it in a patch. Like, they sped it up exponentially, but people keep telling me that it still has problems, and I have yet to notice Hello, them. Daisy. He's back. Hello! Uh, so, Puppy Boy asked, will slight lag issues be worked on prior to release? Of course. I, I want this to be as smooth as possible. And Sonic Shading looks a little flat in Tropical Resort. I am aware of this. Uh, I have a friend that is kind of going over the Sonic materials and stuff, and he has made it so uh, Sonic's actually more highlighted in dark areas instead of so being so dark. So it's more like Generations, which is the end goal. I like so that. yes, that will be fixed. Oh gosh, Daisy, careful! Because the original goal of this project was for it to basically be what if colors released on the PS3 and Xbox 360. And now it's just become remastering the remaster. <laughs> remastering the remaster. Well, I mean, someone's um, got to do it. Yeah, Am right. Am I going this way? I don't think so. No, you got to go up. You got to go. <laughs> oh, I think you're dead. Oh, no, you're all the way okay, to the Okay, let's go all. <laughs> let's do the level over again. That's fine. Very random question, but what was your favorite zone to update for the mod? I'd have to say Asteroid Coaster. Asteroid Coaster was so fun to, like, get looking just right because I was using a lot of community feedback for it. That level looks awesome. I know yeah, Pup, I, Pup was mentioning that earlier in the chat. He would live there because he said he wants to ride the roller coaster and throw up. Uh, I... Well, one thing I'm afraid of roller coasters, but gosh, that level looks so cool. Hi, Daisy. Uh, She's like looking at me. Why aren't you paying attention to me? What part did you get sick of of working on the mod the most? That's a good question. Can I say all of it? Like all of it, <laughs> like to a certain point, has driven me nuts. <laughs> I feel like that's that you can definitely say that. That, that like working on a project of this scale, I can imagine probably has a lot of moments where you were like, "Is this even worth it? Why would I bother doing this? Who cares?" <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? She's leaving. Yeah. Oh. This this whole thing is just like this, this whole game is just a headache, and I can understand why other like bigger, well-known modders like you know. The bigger names like Scythe, uh, Death, Sad G, uh, you know, those big, the big guys, they just didn't want to touch this game with a 10 foot long metal pole. I don't blame them. I don't, I don't blame anyone. <laughs> like, I know, I, I, I might have said something like, like in the original colors, I don't even remember what I said in that video. I don't know what the script said, but like, I feel like I probably said something like, I'm waiting for mods to make this better, but, like, not in, like, a you-have-to-do-this kind of way, but I feel bad that's, like, sort of yeah, the, that, the state Yeah, that was in. a drama. Yeah, you know? that was a drama that was going on when the game initially launched. It's kind of... There were some really entitled individuals that came out and were like, well, modders are just going to fix it anyway. And yeah, I'm I was like, more so hoping really... that that's what would happen. I wasn't, like, 
hey, you guys gotta get on this right day. Like, cause I, I <laughs> obviously am very grateful for the things that people make, and I know it's done for free and with your own free time. Yeah, it, it's just... It, and that's another thing that caused a lot of the bigger the modders to just not want to work about this, because a lot of people see modders as expendable, and we just Ugh. make a better product for them for free when we just do this out of the kindness of our hearts and because we're passionate about this series. Entitled people, they probably have, like, rich parents or whatever. <laughs> they get whatever they want. Yeah. Pretty much. <clears throat> but uh, I'm, I'm gl glad that people still want to work out, like, something like this as a passion thing as opposed to, like, a, a pressure thing. Yeah. Because I was just like, well, if I'm going to replace the model... I wonder what else I could fix. And yeah, like you said in the, like I said in my uh, the little Q and A you gave me, I was just like, eh, I might as well try. Let me see how far I can get with this. And I just kept going, and going, <laughs> and going, and then oh, yeah. suddenly I'm at terminal velocity. I'm like, oh. oh. God, I'm actually really excited to see terminal velocity. <laughs> Did I not hit him with the laser? I thought I so, sliced right through him. What's great about Terminal Velocity is I uh, restored the distant, like, clouds that were, like, in the original Wii version. And the clouds on the planet in the distance actually would move. They didn't move in Colors Ultimate, so I fixed that as well. <laughs> oh. This is yet more things that we just... <laughs> I didn't know that we lost, because I... Crashing the party barge, get an S rank against... Oh, cool. All right. How did I... How did I knock out? I feel like I did that boss fight really fast when I was recording the footage for the end of that Q&A segment. I have so, no idea how uh, I didn't have an S before. Your ranks aren't actually dependent. It's kind of like heroes. It's not dependent on your time. It's mostly on your score. Oh. So it's like things you've done. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that makes sense. Also, you know what? Really weird. I, I didn't show colors... I, I didn't show Planet Wisp Act 1 in the comparison... For some reason, when I booted up Act 1, like, in uh, for the purpose of recording that segment... Something tells me, I think I know what you're about to say. The, the sky, sky was upside was down. all black? It was upside down. Yep. It must, that yeah, happened. It must have been that. I was like, what? I don't know why it happens. <laughs> oh, no. I still haven't... Whoa. Whoa. All right. That was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> so I just went to Act, like, 3. So I was like, okay, well, no one will notice, right? <laughs> I was going to message you about it, but I was like, I don't need to tell them every little tiny thing that happened uh, with this. I'm sure they know. Trust me. I I am aware of just about every bug in this game. Unfortunately, I'm cursed with that knowledge. <laughs> uh, so what I could probably do about that is look at the script uh, that makes the skybox follow the camera and see mm -hmm. if I can make it like be like completely sure that the skybox is always upright so like how does that happen because like i it didn't happen just now it didn't happen when i was testing it earlier like it, it's just very it's completely random it, it's just like some for some reason while the stage is loading something gets a little bit messed up during loading and the script goes wrong and it just inverts the sky it's so weird i, I was also curious because like i don't know I, I was running it in windowed mode at the time and i was like is there something weird with windowed mode like is it not <laughs> meant to run in windowed mode or something and I don't know because I, I mean I mainly nope. play it's games full ultimate. screen if I can but like uh, for that purpose it was like I had to play it in windowed mode for the comparison because uh, thankfully the colors mod loader has a code in it that lets it run in the background so I was playing uh, colors ultimate in two different windows at the same time with one controller and yeah. one of the windows was able to run in the background, but the Steam one wasn't because I couldn't have the mod loader hook up to both versions at the same time. It, it wouldn't oh do goodness. that. So I, I was like, how... <laughs> I was feeling all sneaky. I'm like, I know how to do this. It's going to work this way. And then it didn't work the way I thought it was. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? Uh, Astro Seed asks, how is my week? Uh... Stressful. <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, a, a lot of real life stuff's been going on, but I've been fine overall. I've been trying to kind of relax a bit more lately and just play some video games. I've been playing Helldivers with a oh, couple of buddies of mine. 
See, I wouldn't describe that as relaxing. That's that's like a for the good of Super Earth kind of thing, you know. <laughs> We gotta kill the bugs, boys! <laughs> I, I don't, I don't play it. I'm not a huge fan. Of, I've seen my my friends play it a ton. They're playing it like every day, basically, for the glory of Super Earth. I just don't love games like that. I feel like if I bought it, like I knew I was gonna get tired of it within like a day or two. It, but like it, it uh, does get. I will admit, it's not for everyone, and it will, it can get repetitive. I do. I have to say though. That game has been, like, every time I watch them play it, because I do, you know, I sit and watch them play it sometimes, it is, inc like, extremely impressive. Like, some of, like, the physics and cloths, like, like the cloth physics specifically I've been seeing, it, mm. it's, like, the textures and everything, that game looks so nice. It's, like, I, don't, I think that's one of the only games I've ever witnessed that runs at such a nice frame rate, has such a high texture quality, and also... It just randomly has cape physics that mm. never uh, clip into themselves. Like, I don't think yeah. I've ever seen a game work that well in an the animation department, which I, I just find very interesting and very Yeah, I, I applaud uh, teams that are able to do stuff like that. Like, I look up to them. Those are like my heroes. <laughs> Like, I mean, I, there's people that, like, love their, like, love celebrities and stuff and look up to them. No, I look up to other artists. Hey, I mean, that's how it should be. Like, people have their heroes, you know? Not everyone's yeah. got to have the same heroes. Funny. <laughs> okay, this is actually slightly related to that tangent. But, uh, so that cat that was on the stream a little bit ago, Daisy, my cat, I, I got her for my friend Tyler's mom. She, she was moving. She needed to find another home for Daisy. And mm -hmm. I was looking to get another cat because uh, our other, my other cat, Cyber, he, he's like not very, like lap cat like, and I kind of wanted like a cat to sit with me or whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, he's actually he's a very good boy, but he likes to be on his own. But like, so I get this cat from her, and you know, she checks in every so often to see how the cat's doing. But also, you know, I've known my friend Tyler for like. Since, since third grade, so she, so his mom has a whole bunch of like, <laughs> like, Facebook memory things that pop up, of us mm. from when we were like little kids. I don't know if this was one of them. I think she said she was just looking for something. She found like a, it was literally an old diary of a wimpy kid book, that my friend Tyler filled out. It was like a like a, one of those like you fill out. Oh, your the do it yourself. Thing. Yeah, I had that and, book. <laughs> it was about me. So she sends it to us, and she's like, look at this. And in the thing, it says, what celebrity would your friend most like to meet? And he wrote, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, she sent the thing over and she was like, do you still want to meet Mario? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like, I've technically met Mario. I met Charles, but oh. I did, actually. I did meet Charles, Martin. but like, it's so Such funny to me. So I was like, yes, I would like to meet Mario. I think you, I was like, you would have a lot of stories to tell. I feel like uh, Charles Martin is a, he's awesome. He, he's such a uh, he's just, nice dude. He's a sweetheart. He, he's <laughs> just he's like the grandpa I never had. He's so funny. When I I met him once at a comic con, and it was the first time I'd ever gone to a comic con thing, and I wanted to go because he was gonna be there, and I mm. I was so excited, so nervous. His line was not that long, which is weird. And I yeah, was waiting Mario. in line. Yeah, I was like, how could you? How could people not be wanting to see this guy? I, you know, it might be because Tom Kenny was next to him. But, uh, that makes sense. So, I, I was in line waiting, and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to say? What, what, whatever. And the people in front of me are talking to him, and they go, oh, can you can you say this as Waluigi? And his agent or someone was there, right? And she was like, you know, Charles was like smiling and nodded a little bit. He kind of gave like a little chuckle. And uh, his agent went... Uh, well, Charles is, he's going to be doing a recording session soon, so, you know, he has to be careful Save with his voice. voice so he doesn't, yeah. you know, have any trouble with that when he goes to recording. And then Charles goes, it's me, Waluigi, <laughs> he's like, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> or he said, like, everybody cheating but me, what, like, like that, you know, some Waluigi line, I, I, I was like, this is, this is it. Like, this is the one. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Someone is asking, why did you replace the red rings with Eggman medals? I did not. The red rings oh, yeah, are still not. here. Yeah, no. It's what just you're the seeing, park tokens. 
The are red rings are not up. visible because I've collected them all already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also, on the map, it might look like I cheated the game. This is actually another Colors Ultimate thing that I'm wondering if you might have any idea how it happened. When I was playing Colors Ultimate on my own, like for the video, I mean like for the original video back when it came out, uh, I was playing through the game and I was like unlocking cosmetics slowly because you know you get like a couple medals a level and I was like this is neat it's like an okay drip I feel like I know where I feel like I know where this is going you know where you got the nine 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 the nine 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 tokens yeah someone was like I was like <laughs> I think I showed my friend something and he was like how did you get nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine Eggman medals and I was like what do you mean <laughs> like I didn't even notice uh, suddenly I just I, I must have activated some kind of debug flag that just it gave me every medal ever. It was a, it was like a weird bug with the like original version, uh, where you'd play like a specific game land stage, and it would just give you so many. I don't know why. That's I, I don't know if it still exists. It must but... have been a, like a thing for developers, right? So they could test like the cosmetics. Yeah, but I guess they just kind of left it. <laughs> I forgot. I mean, like there's that thing in Sonic so Mania weirdly plus to this very day. You know that like if you're in the special stage, you can just hit Y and you gain speed immediately. Oh yeah. Just still there. Uh, someone that's said a that. Dev menu thing. In which case, I'm Planet very Wh embarrassed for saying that. <laughs> someone said that Planet Wisp looks like how nice laundry detergent smells. <laughs> Is that a, it, I think that's that's the most unique compliment I've heard to this day. <laughs> Is it because the water is like purple or something? I, I guess I guess it's just like it looks as nice as laundry detergent smells like. I, it, I can I can agree. So like it kind of it looks like a like a freshly dried load of laundry. Yeah. Feels so good. Funny thing with Planet Wisp is I actually tried to oh, kind geez. of replicate the generations look more than the original colors. So uh, it has more of that blue hue to it. I did notice that. I, I like that because I like blue a lot. Also, uh, Linkling, the, the little stuttering here and there is a, uh, it, it's a thing with the mod because of the shaders currently. I guess you could, you could mention yeah, that. Yeah, it's the That's... shader. So uh, any stutters that happen are likely shader compilation stutter. Oh, by the way, you're not going to hit that unless you hold straight up. You have to hold up. Really? <laughs> While, yeah, you won't hit that dash panel. <laughs> uh, so, basically, it's kind of like how when you play an emulator, um, you have to generate a shader cache, and the, the like. The more you play the game, the better it'll run in, a, in an emulator. Uh, but with this, uh, since uh, Re Rainbow uses so many custom new shaders, we haven't pre-compiled them yet. So the game has to compile them while it's running, which can cause some hitches and stutter. I yeah. hope that's a good explanation. No, that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> I think the way you described it both then and like in the video, like it makes a lot of sense. And also I, I like the comparison to the emulator thing because that's something I really never paid attention to in emulators for mm. a long time, I guess. Because like all of a sudden I felt like I just started seeing emulators say like shader cat like out of nowhere and i was like what did when did this show up but it's just mm. it's like always been a thing i just never noticed it but like it, it makes sense because like th the way the shaders work is like so like there's textures that are applied to the model but then the shaders apply more of the visual effects to kind of complete how the game looks correct so that that doesn't happen yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it can happen when you first start the game, but it'll take, like, a lot more loading time, right? So, like... Yeah. So, as Shaders it is right now, they have to start when like, the g it... game turns on. So it's, like, yeah. a little bumpy. Yeah. It, shaders are basically, like, if you want to give a material a little bit of an extra, like, effect to it that isn't just, like, a basic material. Like, for example, the stage, like, terrain most of that just uses a basic material uh but like sonic's fur sonic's eyes uh like the particle effects and stuff all use unique shaders so they can look correct oh god this stage is so cool i love planet wisp i think no oh, yeah it's great <laughs> i can see why they picked it for generations or it got picked rather the 
think, oh, I, those moments where you go off to, like, the special dash ramp and you do the good, awesome, outstanding, I bet, like, I love when the camera changes and you see Sonic just being happy. It's like, yeah, oh, damn. It, it's great. God, he just like me for real. <laughs> just bliss. Meanwhile, he's going through an industrialized natural planet that Eggman yeah, is currently like... sucking the life out of. Destroying. I feel like these sections, the mechanical sections, probably smell like... You, you don't even pass, like, a big truck on the road. Like <laughs> yeah. It probably smells like that. It's just exhaust. It's just engine exhaust. Yeah. Engine exhaust and just loud noise. You, like... <laughs> I was... Like, whenever I pass a truck like that, if I'm on the side of a truck, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to be here. I'm so small. I don't want to be next to this truck, please. Oh... <sighs> Um, question, if I may, oh, will this mod have options in Hedge Mod Manager, like choosing between lives or tail save, or disabling the perfect homing attack? Uh, currently no, but, uh, there is a Hedge Mod Manager code that will disable ta tail save. Yeah, I think that's in there already. That's just in. Yeah. Uh, and it, there's also one to disable tails is like, where he just does random one-liners. Oh. Wow, you got messed up by Refreshinator. How do you feel? Yeah, I got destroyed. I, I was looking for the wisp up there. I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> Grab it! <laughs> Need the spikes so I can just go like this. So an another oh. thing you may not have, like, noticed is the wisps in their capsules always face the camera now, which was oh. what they did in the Wii version, but they don't do in Ultimate. They just spin around in circles, so they must get dizzy. Huh. Yeah, weren't they 2D as well in, in the original? Uh, the white wisps are 2D uh, in the original. The other and they ones aren't. Were 2D. Yeah, the other ones are not. They were 3D models. <laughs> I, it doesn't make I, any sense. Good question. Cause maybe because they, <laughs> they show up a lot more in each level. Yeah, maybe and I guess if they were that many models. Yeah, that many models could like hinder the Wii performance. Hmm. Uh, so wait, and that was like that in the Wii version too. So they were yeah. they were the only 2D ones. Everything else was 3D. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. much. I could definitely see it happening for the Wii, being like that for the Wii. Yeah, but in Colors Ultimate Vanilla, they were also 2D, and it was so obvious. I'm like, oh, he's not. Dying. I want to okay. get rid of that. Yeah, no, that's good. I mean, it just feels better when they all look like they're part of a remaster. <laughs> um, oh, jeez, I thought I was behind that. That was safe. You You're never safe against feel... Refreshinator. About Sonic Colors originally having two main eggs. Uh, I think it was, it was good. I actually kind of prefer that, but the game would have been way shorter, and yeah, they would have had trouble like justifying the price. Was this a sixty dollars yeah. game? That's a good question. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna Google that. I'm about Google to die. That. Well, this is it. Um, oh. Sonic Colors we original. Come on, Google, don't lie to me. <laughs> Sometimes it does. Gonna... Fair what enough. What is... Um, the original price... Um... For the game... This is, what, Canadian dollars? Was fifty nine ninety nine. So I think it was 50 bucks in... Okay. In... Yeah, America it was money. forty. It was forty bucks. It was forty bucks in USD, so it was not a full price game. All right, that's interesting. I just did. I don't really think about that stuff. Like I think about like back in the day, like oh DS games and 3DS games were like cheaper than console games, you know. But yeah. like Wii games were always full price. Like I know I paid a lot of money for most Wii games. Oh, I can knock his hand down if I boost into his hand. I, I haven't played this boss in a long time. Does the Spike Wisp do extra damage to Yes, it does. It, yeah, it does. You just so have to I hit like... him in the face. With it. It's, it, it counts as an extra hit. Oh, he's dead. So, oh, he's super yeah, dead. He's... That's like even funnier fun. than the laser, right? Because the laser wisp in Rotatatron at least makes sense. Like, you're shooting at him so fast, but I just dropped from the ceiling. With spikes, did you, he's like, oh. Did you know, with Rotatatron, uh, that you can actually laser wisp into his hand, and you will laser through his arm and hit him into his core? <laughs> and there, <laughs> there is cool. a unique effect of it. Yeah. Huh. I don't think I've done that. I think I've just hit him in the face. Like, I just aim at the head. 
Yeah, it's a it's a cool effect that what happens. You should have gone for the head. <laughs> Hold on one second. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm trying to test something. <laughs> they said, Dylan, did you just die to one of the easiest so bosses in Sonic history? Uh, yeah, twice actually. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. That's what happened. All right. All right. Here we go. Aquarium Park was also a really nice one. Uh, like, my favorite part to work on was the water and getting the water to look right because it looks so dull in I base know. colors ultimate. In the side-by-side, -side, I was shocked looking at the side-by-side -side comparison for that part because I saw the... Like, I did a double take. I was like, pause, enhance. <laughs> <laughs> look at that water. Oh, my God. Like, it's it looks like, like real water now. That. I don't... <laughs> I think it's salt water. I don't, I don't know if I would drink it. I still won't drink it. But you know, it it's still looks good water. enough to drink, so... Uh, but yeah, the reason why the Colors Ultimate version looks so flat is because they didn't use the original reflection textures that the Wii version utilized. So, it wasn't really... the water wasn't really reflecting anything. Jeez, so that's another so that's example of like, hey, it was there and they just didn't use it? Yeah, there, there's a lot of assets that they they just straight up, like, they made higher quality versions of and they straight up don't use. I don't know why. Like, uh, Maybe Admiral Jelly, for example. Maybe or something. This is the PC version! <laughs> uh, true, but, like, if they left everything in from all the versions, maybe they were trying to, like... Maybe they, like, couldn't make the PC version look overwhelmingly better for some reason. Maybe Sega didn't want them to or something. I don't know. I... I I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I, I but, feel like playing games on PC is the best way to do it, but I understand that, like, I know never, not everyone can. Yeah. Like, you know, you need a PC so, to do it. The thing is with, like, Admiral Jelly is, um, he actually, for some reason in Colors Ultimate, he uses Wii quality textures. <laughs> they are 256 by 256 pixels. And Blind Squirrel made 1K resolution textures for him and don't use them. That's so strange. I would have loved... Is Blind Squirrel's not defunct now, right? They're still around? They're still around. Uh, I think they're working... So they recently like rebranded, and I oh, think really? it's because they're That's working on their own personal project. They're working on their own like in-house game. I don't think they're working on a remaster right now. I wonder... Like, I, I feel like they probably can't talk about it because, you know, it's a game they oh, worked yeah, on for NBA. someone else. But I would love to just know... Oh, whoops. I, I would love to just know what the heck happened. <laughs> like, like, just hear well, it Well, rumor them, has you know? it. This is the rumor. This is alleged. I'm not going to say this is fact. Allegedly, the initial build of this game in 2020 was so atroci atrocious that Sega deemed it unplayable, and they had to completely restart development from scratch. And Sega only oh, gave them a year to do it. That's... Okay, that's unfortunate, if the case. I know we were saying earlier, like, uh, I know they've probably heard it a billion times, you know? Like, uh, wow, I can't believe this came out like this. I do feel bad, you know, that it did yeah. come out like this. Especially if it was not entirely on them. Like, if they didn't have enough time to really make it work. A I'd say they Sega definitely moment. didn't have enough time. <laughs> I'd say they definitely didn't have enough time or the resources or the knowledge to do it. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate, because, like, like working on a big property it's like damn like like you're gonna be in the spotlight for it and not in a good way yeah sk mark they they have not released anything since colors ultimate i don't think uh let me check their website we can we can double check that because they actually yeah. updated their website whatever uh, it is i hope um, they had more time and you know like better working condition to do it yeah, I, I think it was uh, the fault on both ends. I think it was Sega pushing them because Sega wanted to get a game out for to kind of capitalize off of the movie's popularity. And it's just blind scroll for me being inexperienced with the type of technology that Colors utilized. I almost used the the cube wisp on that spot that would have immediately killed me. Like, I, I actually had like a <laughs> foresight moment. I was like, that's um... just going to turn into rings. So, <laughs> as as Colors Ultimate was the last thing they, they they did, but their own original project that 
I was talking about earlier is called Drifters Loot the Galaxy, and currently it is an early access. That's a cool name. It, from what I saw of it, it looks neat. It looks oh, quite Spencer, neat. hello. Uh, let's see. They ghosted their social media for a few years because of this game. Yeah, that's... They also did the same for WWE 2K18 for the Switch. They made that port. And that one was not, that, that, that was not a good port either? It, it was deemed the worst Nintendo Switch port ever. Wow. That's... That's, that's why really I was worried about this game. <laughs> that's so but the thing is, that, they upsetting. didn't... What? What's? Thankfully, Blind Scroll really didn't do the Switch version of this game. Uh, it was outsourced to Ridiculous Games, which was is another studio. How is this? Oh, you know what? I, I the Switch port for this game was. Uh, they had some words for that when that came out. There were like all those weird glitches that may or may not have been on emulator or whatever. Yeah. So those glitches. Okay. So the ones that were like that just happened during game regular normal gameplay were done through the emulator but the one that did happen where like everything gets all epileptic and stuff that was due to a memory leak a video memory leak that would happen in the game from switching hub areas too too fast on the switch so the yeah. game would get yeah on the switch and it just got confused and that's why everything decided just to have a complete meltdown that's I remember seeing all that stuff. They're like, Sonic turned into a fish. Look at him. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Link said, my French friend who worked on the Switch port of the game said it was all because of the Nintendo Switch's architecture. I mean, I don't think it's the architecture's fault. I just think it was just not a good port. What do they keep saying? Is that the person that keeps talking about SpongeBob stuff? Hold on. Hey, Expo, uh, can you give me the download link to the mod, please? I cannot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, you play Expo, you have this you? build. You play test. Expo, I saw that. Expo, you have this build. I gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Someone else said something that caught my eye, and oh no, I didn't mean to hit restart. No. Why? Oh. Um, that happens sometimes. But... I just clicked the wrong button in um when I was filming the comparison for the video today. I pressed mm -hmm. restart or exit on the on the two different windows so many times that I was getting angry at myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, stop it, fucking stop. Uh, Ultra V said, oh yeah, uh, remember that random glitch where the game seemed to have trouble telling where Sonic was and deformed him into a fish? Uh, so about that, what the game was doing and why Sonic became deformed like that, the game was like freaking out and it's kind of panicking and pulling whatever assets being streamed at the time which happened to be the egg ponds and their skeleton and animations. It would apply the egg pond skeleton and animations to Sonic. That's why Sonic gets all wide and stuff. <laughs> it starts flipping out. Dude, glitches like that are so funny to me. I love stuff like that. Like, I mean, not the, 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 the seizure inducing one's bad, obviously. Like the, the one that where he's just like, hey, I'm a fish now. <laughs> it's like, okay. Oh, uh, x cool like, Sonic. I know, Blue, that's the joke. Well, your joke's not funny. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, where do I go? I, I think I just keep going this way, right? I heard this game was originally supposed to be made by the Skyward Sword HD team, but it was too busy. Uh, I wouldn't believe that. Who made Skyward that... Sword HD? Wasn't it, Nintendo? it was done in house. Yeah, it was. I believe it was done in house. Hmm. Uh, I think it was done by Nerd, which is uh, Nintendo Europe's retro division. That game's pretty good. I, I didn't finish it because I am terrible at finishing things. But, uh, Skyward Sword is fun, and I, I think for, like, I, I understand why people didn't like it as much as other Zeldas, because it's not very, like, open compared to most of them. But I, I think they do a really good job fleshing out the areas that you do visit to the point mm. where it's like, this feels like a real little world that you're just, you know, you're focusing on a couple areas as opposed to, like, a big entire world. So, but, uh, apparently Skyward Sword HD was done by Tan... Tan... I don't know how to pronounce this. Tantalus? Tantalus Studio. Tantalus? Maybe? Yeah, Tantalus, yeah. Um, They were responsible for console ports of City Skylines, Lego 2K Drive. Uh, um, they've done a lot of stuff for City Skylines. They did Skyward Sword HD. 
And I believe they also did the Switch port of Sonic Mania. Oh, oh yeah, that's what uh, uh, Merrick just said. Yeah. Tantalus. I, you know what? Honestly, the Switch port of Mania is the way I experienced it the first time. I, I don't know if you guys oh remember goodness. the the issues that that had, where like it had a delay from pressing the home button. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I, I remember that. that specifically, but I do. I hated but, that uh, bug. That was, um, I remember I played Mania on Switch the first time because I had it pre-ordered on Steam. And then they announced they were delaying it to add, like, the copyright protection. And I was like, okay, well, I just simply will not buy it on Steam. Oh, yeah. I remember, um, uh, oh, goodness, I can't remember the name of the dev. That's, it was, the like, the thing I did later, because, like... I, that's when I started doing the Mania mod videos. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that was pretty important. I know the lead Mania dev, really? he threw a fit about them putting D Denuvo in the game. Like, Good. he... It, it just ruins things. Yeah. He threw a fit. Like, he was not happy. He, like, wanted to murder Sega of Europe for doing that. So, I mean, because it was not we've discussed. seen stuff like with the uh, Sonic Origins, right? Like, remember when that game released and there were a bunch of problems and like all the devs were like, hey guys, it wasn't like that when we gave it to Sega. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember like, hey, they did something to it. Now it's worse. So it, I kind of felt bad for them because it's like, it's again one yeah, of those moments where it's like, it's not the really reputation. their fault. Yeah. Um... Was it Christian Whitehead? No, it was not. I, it was not Christian Whitehead. It's the the other guy. I can't remember his name right stealth. now. Yeah, it was Stealth. Stealth. Yeah, Stealth threw a fit. He was not happy about them putting <laughs> De Nuvo in. Again, that game. I think it's fair because it's going to be one of those things where people are like, "Hey, why is this like this?" And they're going to look at the devs, and it's like, "Well, they didn't." Uh, we didn't do that. It, didn't blame really the publisher. That. Don't blame us. <laughs> Whoops. I was not, full disclosure: I was not looking. <laughs> I was trying to figure um, out what I was. I forgot what I have to do in this section. It, it's really a shame too, because I like I understand why Denuvo exists Oops. because it like it it appeal like it kind of lets investors kind of rest easy knowing that the game won't be easily piratable. Yeah, and like that's a big problem, obviously. Like there are so many leaks these days where, like, like I do understand that facet of it. I just wish that you know after a bit so they would just... remove it. And it wasn't That's so what Square Enix does. Square yeah, Enix does that after after six months of release, they removed a Nuvo. It's, it's a nice practice because, like, I know statistically, I, like the, the sales money. of the game, a majority of them happen in like the first few days, the first couple months or whatever. Yeah. Obviously, for bigger it, games, it's different, but like for a lot of games, like uh, Spyro the Dragon Two on the PlayStation One, I remember this. Specifically because Spyro 3 has a lot of anti-piracy stuff in it. Spyro mm. 2 was pirated so much that they made, like... And, you know, obviously it didn't have DeNovo. It had their own copyright stuff, mm. whatever they were doing. What do I do in this level? I don't remember. You have to guide the missiles to hit the glass the This glass dome? Over like here. Mario Galaxy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was hitting, like, the little I'd... bubbles. It just clicked with me that that straight up looks like the domes from Mario Galaxy. It kind of does, but, uh, but like I was saying, uh, sorry, the Spyro 2 was pirated like a shit ton when it came out, so Insomniac made sure that uh, Spyro 3 had a ton of anti-piracy stuff in it, and it's got a lot of funny anti-piracy stuff in it, where, like, I, I think it's like in some levels, uh, portals will not appear, so you get stuck in certain home worlds, and then there's stuff mm. like um, some portals just won't appear in any home world, like if you... Uh, you start losing dragon eggs inexplicably, and they can't get regained. If you pirate I, I the game, I kind of like, I kind of like anti-piracy stuff like that. That just kind of messes with you instead of it's outright funny. not letting you play. And the, I think there's a bunch of messages that are like, "Hey, Spyro," I, and like they have them like I don't know if they're voice acted, but the characters are still saying it. Like I can imagine it. You know, <laughs> like, Hunter being like, "Hey, you should turn off the game. This is stolen." That's you know, not not good. <laughs> piracy is a crime. Please turn this up. Like all those anti-piracy things that came out forever ago, those like fake ones. Hmm. Please turn off the console and report this to Nintendo of America immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but shit. the my my issue with the Nuvo is it 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 number one it bloats the game. It makes like 20 megabyte EXEs over 400 megabytes. 
That's gross. Yeah, that's why it does the colors. <laughs> I I really messed this one up. Ooh. Uh, okay. But another thing is it makes it really hard for us to do code injection for these games because it's harder to find the pointers to do the code, the oh. code stuff, because it's just full of de novo crap. And I I just wish that Sega would. It, it, it's actively costing them money to have de novo on these games. By the way, they they have to pay for de novo to stay on these games. Right. Is it like a subscription? Like they gotta keep paying for it? Like as long as it's yes. in the game? Yes. So that's even more grounds to be like, hey, let's remove that after, you know, like 40 days. Yeah, Forces came out, what, seven years ago? And it still has de novo in it. <laughs> you know, in that case, I, I maybe don't care. <laughs> but like, I guess I should just say like, you know, uh, maybe have it be equal for everything, but like, you know. Uh, it's just, yeah, it, it makes it really hard for us modders to do stuff because there's a lot of stuff I want to do with this game, mm -hmm. uh, but Denuvo is holding us back. Yeah, I wish that was <laughs> not the case. But we're getting Me close too. to the end here. We are All getting right. close. Just asteroid coaster, here we go. This is, I love this stage. This is such a cool, not final level, but like, you know, final world. It's, yeah. I wouldn't say terminal velocity is a full world. It's just one level route. It was supposed to be at one point, but it didn't end up being one. <laughs> oh, God. That, that's also just one of the coolest ideas, too. Like, Sonic being like, all right, well, the elevator's broken. I got to run down the elevator. Chip. Like, that's so cool. Yeah, away from a black <laughs> hole. Yeah, that's like one oh. of those memorable Sonic moments. You like that whisk really... capsule? You like how you yeah. can't collect it? You, you want to know how you collect it? Here, restart how? the stage real quick. You're going to have to jump out of the coaster at an angle and homing attack it. Jump out at an angle? You can jump out at... Oh, God, I didn't know you could. <laughs> like, yeah, you could do that. I thought... That makes sense because you could switch coasters like that. I just never thought to try it when there was one coaster. Uh, But, yeah. I don't know what they did to this object that caused it to not work whenever you touch it. Uh. Okay, that person just came back from their timeout, and they're still just talking about weird Nickelodeon trivia, so we're just gonna hide uh. that. I, I don't really understand with the... I, 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 don't, I don't really get it. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Uh. I, I get it. Nickelodeon's cool, I guess. But... Uh, you oh. did it well, way actually, too Well, actually, you know what? They're not very cool, according to current events. But, you know. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that controversy. <laughs> yeah. I take that back. They're not very cool. Uh, what, what, what the game's structured. You wish they kept the two act structure with bonus levels. I I would like it if the levels, like the the ones that were meant to be one act, were put back together because this game is really fun to play. Yeah, and having longer levels wouldn't hurt. Yeah, see, that's how. You, that's the only way you can collect that in this version. That's so <laughs> strange. Why is that? They, like that? I I don't know. That that object like that. I don't know what they did to it, and I wish I could fix it. <laughs> I mean, surely it must be the same object as every other Wisp capsule, right? Like, why would it... No, because... Break? No, it's not, because it's the only one that you can homing attack. You can't homing attack white Wisp capsules. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I, that's so weird. Why the fuck? They Welcome must have... The maybe... The, is there like a beta wisp capsule object in the files that they put there by mistake or something or like a like a different variation for some reason i have no clue but i like from my experience with like doing like level edits from for forces and stuff there's like different there's like parameters to where it sets like different types of a certain object okay. and they may have applied the wrong type of where it's only homing attackable and not being able to be touched that's actually something I understand at least a little bit because I, I know I'd mentioned to you that I've done like Super Mario World ROM hack stuff uh, at previous times and a lot of things like a lot of sprites can work like that where if they have a certain byte set they are they have this property but if not they have you know like a separate property mm -hmm. so I guess that makes sense that it's still being used that way you don't need to like make a hundred of the same object you just have like one object you can change the properties of Fuck this capsule in particular, Sega and Blind Scroll, probably. 
<laughs> you like how Sonic actually like suck. blends into the light here and doesn't stick out like a poor Photoshop? Gosh, I, I agree. I, I think all the lighting effects on Sonic make the model look so good, but also that's just because the model looks a lot better too. <laughs> yeah. So uh, one one complaint I'm seeing uh, is that he looks a little too dark. I promise, I promise before release that that it will be fixed. He's gonna have his uh, slight like white, like it's called a fall off effect, where he has a, kind of like a white Fresnel glow around him. That's gonna be a little bit more visible, like generations. RS08 says off topic, but I'm still astonished that colors this is gonna go away before I finish. Colors runs on a Wii with insane graphical fidelity and draw distance without any frame drops. I, uh, yeah, I don't remember Colors having any frame issues. I feel like they really, I, I feel like this is an overused statement, but they cooked with yeah, Colors cooked. on the Wii. Yeah, they they did really good, uh, especially for it being their first time using Nintendo Wear, uh, Nintendo Wear mostly because mm -hmm. of just how simplistic Nintendo Wear was. So, like, Secret uh, Rings didn't use that, is what you're saying. Ah... Uh... It used uh, Sega's like proprietary kind of Wii engine, to my understanding, with a mix of Nintendo Wear. I I, I don't huh. fully understand how oh. the storybook games work. Oh, Tails! But... Am I gonna die now? Cause <laughs> I thought that that thing was gonna shoot out of the wall and get me. <laughs> it would be it would be so funny if it did. <laughs> it pushes Tails away, and he's just like, ah. Oh. Uh, someone asked, "Is there a hard mode in this mod?" No. There's not. I'm sure maybe someday someone else could do that. <laughs> that's, that's not the intention but, of this one. Little fun fact about Colors Ultimate, it was supposed to have an ultra easy mode. Where Isn't you would have unlimited tail saves and Tails would be a constant guide in the game. He would be oh. constantly talking to you non-stop. Okay, uh, so I I feel like in, in a world where that happens, that could have worked if it was a toggleable option. But only it was if it was okay. But only if it was Sonic and Tails talking to each other. No, you know, like they're talking like, like, "Wow, did you see that? that Which you, you know, and like, it moved that platform. Wow, you like did make something. it part of the gameplay. Like, like, oh wow, Sonic. You know, if you use your quick step move here, and Sonic's like, of course, Tails. I love doing the quick step move. You know, just stuff like that. Your English is so bad. Linkling, you've been doing absolutely fine. I don't think there's not been a single thing you've said that has been misunderstood uh, at all. So you, you've been doing uh, a great job with that. Don't you worry. Oh, I'm, I'm, I missed their question. Uh, am I in interested in any way by fr Frontiers modding? I've actually done some Frontiers modding. Uh, mostly just model swaps. I actually did it for Peter Netter uh, a couple of months back. Like all of those Frontiers mod videos. Yeah, all those mods were done by me. I was about to say, did you do the Kirby one? But I literally saw yes. it when you sent me your game banana page. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did that Kirby one. I am I'm still proud of that Kirby one, even though it's kind of funky. I, I like the Kirby model in that one's very nicely stylized. So I just I, I just like how it looks there. I use the uh, the one from Star Allies. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I Star and Allies for is so weird. Super to me. Kirby, I used Hypernova Kirby from uh, oh. was it Robobot? <laughs> Triple Deluxe, yeah. Oh, Triple Deluxe, yeah. That one's my favorite game. That's like... You're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're about to die. I was like, why else would they have these here other than, like, I I'm supposed to stand here it's and wait troll. for this to be cool? <laughs> it's a troll. But, uh, I love Kirby Triple Deluxe because, like, you know, they usually add, like, the it's this is here's the main gimmick for this Kirby game. Like, for Robobot, it's the big robot suit, and for Star Allies, it's the, the fun, like, heart power where you can have anyone be it your friend, and it, it's neat, right? But, like, in Triple Deluxe... Damn it. Uh, in Triple Deluxe, they took Kirby's existing moveset with the, the inhale ability, and they, like, extended it to work with the Hypernova thing. They're like, here, now it does all of this crazy shit. And, and I just <laughs> think that was a great idea. Like, use what Kirby already had, but, like, expand it, and, like... To me, that's an ideal gimmick if you have to, you know, use that word like I was using. It's just pretty cool. Like, makes the character feel even more fleshed out. And I just think Kirby Triple Deluxe was like... That was such a fun game. I think it's, like, a spectacle to look at. And Robobot's cool as well. I think it's a great game. But yeah, I, Triple Deluxe um, has my heart there. Can, can I just tell you a little bit of... <laughs> 
I have only played two Kirby games. Yeah, go Star for it. Allies and Forgotten Land. That's a good <laughs> That's game, though. Play. Forgotten it's Land so, is a I love, good game. I love that game. I love that game to bits. But I am not a big Kirby person. Uh, <laughs> I like Kirby, but I've just, like, I think I've played Kirby Superstars, like the the Super Nintendo one. Yeah, the SNES one. Yeah. But other than that, only Star Allies, oh. which unfortunately Star Allies was my first Kirby game and I didn't really like it because that game was meant, was made with Kirby fans in mind. But the thing is, to a newcomer, it was just really bland. <laughs> okay, as a Kirby fan, uh, I was not super invested in Star Allies either. Like, I... Damn it, I forgot about that. Uh, I, I do like that they added all that like extra DLC stuff. They added a bunch of the retro, uh, or the, sorry, the throwback characters. I think it would be a better word. Mm -hmm. But like, upon release, I played the game and I was like, "This is a very, very short game." I'm this level's uh, this level's getting. Uh, old, so but... whenever, when whenever it goes boop boop, before it does the third boop, stop, and then you'll land on top of it. Ah, okay. Because right, see how sense. it goes. Bam, bam. Bam. Yeah, just before that third one, you gotta stomp. Okay. Oh, but anyway, Kirby Kirby Star Allies. I I'm not... That game Usually, was just such a nothing burger to me. It is a little bit of a nothing burger. Like, I do like what happens in the game. There's a lot of cool shit. But it feels like a majority of it was reserved for all of that content they added afterwards. And I'm not one to replay the same stuff over and over and over and over again. Even if it's yeah. like, hey, here's a new character, because I, I, I just feel like I want to play other stuff at that point, you know. Hmm. And uh, that game was like that, unfortunately. I need to figure this out. This is giving me trouble. But I mean, I appreciate <laughs> everything they did for that game. Uh, yeah. I think it looks absolutely awful at 30 FPS. I gotta be honest. I, I think that's oh, yeah. like a disgusting downgrade from the, the 3DS ones. Yep. There, we there go. you go. Now you got it. No, I it, it's got it. this got a learning curve to it. See, I, I gotta like remember which <laughs> button I should be hitting. I was wondering Ooh. why you had a D rank on this level. <laughs> well, this is why, I'm sure. So uh, another thing I actually upgraded were were the egg pond costumes in this stage. They oh. are supposed to have those purple glowing bits on their swords and their helmets. Yeah, they didn't glow in base colors ultimate, so they looked really flat and boring. So I had it's to weird, fix that. Everything I had to... else glowed. Yeah, right. But the bits that are supposed to glow don't. <laughs> I can't believe it. Someone was saying earlier, and, and I, I, I sort of get where they're coming from. Like one of the things they could imagine having that bloom from the original version was Starlight Carnival, because it is like a, a giant glowing beam in space. But like the way it was the... in the original was like, oh. <laughs> it was like, oh it, god, it too, too much. Because they applied like a screen bloom to it. Oh, so like the box. whole screen would be covered in bloom. It's not just like certain bits glow. It's Everything gross. glowed. So I can, like, ev if you, like, if anyone ever decides to look through PRR file files, that bloom effect slider will be off. <laughs> because screen bloom is just bad. I'm glad that you can just flip a switch and it doesn't exist anymore. That's really nice. I mean, I'm sure there's more to it than that, but the, it's good that that's just a thing you can turn off. Yeah. So, for this stage, you gotta kind of hug the right lane, the right most lane, because there's a button. Oh, right. I, I remember playing this level and going around it. in circles and being like, hey, uh, what to. am I doing here? <laughs> you said the right most, like, all the way here? Yeah, yeah. Yep, there you go. See, and see how the camera changed and some stuff spawned? I hit it? I didn't even see it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> these, some of these levels are literally like, what, what happened? What, what, what's oh, going on? I, I guess that happened. <laughs> uh, well, I guess that happened. Uh, someone said I actually noticed the horizontal cap. The horizontal cap had the wrist facing the wrong way. I'm not sure if this was. Supposed to be. Oh yeah. So um. That was an issue that I was having with my script that kind of makes the wisps always upright and face the camera. They don't kind of, they don't take the capsule position into account. 
So the wisp will always be upright, no matter how the capsule's rotated. And I was trying to fix that for the longest time, but I just couldn't figure it out. But it's so rare that it happens that I just kind of was like, whatever. <laughs> because most wisp capsules are, are upright anyway. Oh, God. You know what I didn't ask you that I probably should have? What? What is your favorite wisp? That, that was like such an obvious question. I didn't think to ask that. Jade. The Jade Wisp. The new one. You, you know what? You probably said that earlier, didn't you? I that was, think? That might have been it. She, she has become my favorite Wisp. Because she's oh. like the most fun. You like the level design? And it's great. Oh, he's the shooting that good. thing now. Uh, <laughs> the music's good. There's like... I, I love the Wisps, the Jade Wisp's design as well. Yeah, she's she just a like little a space gremlin. Fun little ghost. Um, I, I like all the, the oh. Nega designed wisps like the like void oh, and frenzy yeah they're just little space oh, goblins about void. And, and and bomb don't forget black bomb oh yeah that's, that was in lost world only if you used like the tails workshop yeah or something right yep mm -hmm. and so you know what's about hilarious that. about black bomb in lost world it has proper rolling physics it has proper momentum <laughs> oh <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> It, it actually really... handles like a ball. <laughs> oh, that's. I like how they work on that, and they're like, "Yeah, but Sonic doesn't need that." The guy no, that Sonic frequently doesn't. rolls into a ball and he has been doing that since 1991. He doesn't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we bother designing the game around that? No, nah, no, no. Oh gosh, I think my favorite wisp is. I honestly, I've been liking Frenzy a lot. I just don't like how like clunky it is to control, but that's just, that's kind of how it is, because it's powerful. But you I don't know what I, the internal name for that wisp is. Rodeo. What is it, like, monster? Rodeo? Rodeo. Yep. <laughs> Why? Oh, you know what? There's no I, answer. It, it's called Rodeo. Uh, hover is called Astronauts, for some okay. reason. I mean, that's, uh, you can at least understand that one a little bit, I guess. Spike is Spike. Uh, drill is called Spin. Laser is laser, um, right. and rocket to rocket. So yeah, there's only two unique names. Hey, That's you notice weird. that this water is actually like clear now? How it was in the Wii version, not blue like how it yeah, is. Yeah, it was all like gross in the in the, the remake, right? <laughs> in this game. Yeah, yeah, they just copy pasted the water from Aquarium Park, and the, the just why? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it was a time thing, right? Like they did it. Oh, it happened again. I guess, but it doesn't. It doesn't take that long. It doesn't. So that fr it didn't frenzy did not spawn when I when I hit the button. Huh? Uh, is it because you already have one? No, I I think I was sitting right here. I think I was just barely above the ground, so it didn't spawn. I think it like the model just like couldn't spawn or something. Oh. Uh, um. Well, I was gonna say I think it's because you're in water, but no, you can activate it in water. Yeah, let's I don't know. Oh, you know what? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, because I'm pretty sure I, I, I started it on the ground, because you have to. It didn't let uh, me start it when I was in the air. Yeah, it doesn't... yeah. That's interesting. No, I mean, two out of, like, a billion times I've been using wisps. That's not bad. So these uh, little caterpillar guys... Um, oh, sorry. I, they... I, to say, my, I think my favorite wisp, aside from Frenzy, is probably... A, I, I like laser a lot. I feel like it just has a really nice gameplay use and it like it fits oh, yeah. Sonic really well. Mm -hmm. I yeah, agree. Anyway, sorry, you were saying. Uh so the those little caterpillar guys uh that shoot like come out of their little hatches and shoot. I uh had help from Showin to actually replace their model with the generations one. So oh. they look so much nicer now. Nice. So Showin's the one that made for for guy for people who watched my stream who were here last week, Showin made the classic Sonic improvement mod for Sonic Generations. Yep, one that we were using. And I week. have actually made assets for that. I made the fall signs for uh, Chemical Plant and uh, oh. Sky Sanctuary. Nice. That, I Small liked world. the stylized signs like that. I thought that was a good touch. Yeah. Those were fun to do. It's actually a fun little mini boss thing, too. This reminds me of something out of like a Mega Man game or something. Unfortunately, I tried to like I tried to look everywhere. This this mini boss does not have a name. Really? Anywhere. Yeah, Does not have I mean, any. Makes, not me, everything's makes got me sad. It, I guess. 
But then difficult. me, me, when I was watching my friend Frank stream the other day, he was playing the, uh, <clears throat> he was playing the Super Princess Peach, sorry, not Super Princess, he was playing the Princess Peach Showtime demo, and they, they had those little, like, new characters in the theater. They're mm. like, they almost look like Wigglers, except they're just, like, the one segment, they have the big nose that lights up, and I was like, I just realized, I don't know what these guys are called, this is new lore, and I really want to know what they're called and i was like if anyone knows please tell me and then i like two minutes later he's talking to one of them and it goes we feet run the theater and i was like i guess i just didn't pay attention when i played the demo <laughs> <laughs> they say it right here but that was i fun. love these bosses the the ship bosses are so fun i like just mashing the homing attack button and just yeah just watching them be destroyed it's also weird that, like, the fact that it's got a name makes me feel like I should feel bad about killing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scullion. Yeah, like, it's it's not probably not alive, right? But, it, I mean, it's probably like Orbot and Cubot. It's probably got, like, some form of sentience. Me? Oh, this one's cool. I like how you use the rocket when you're in this area, and you're just like... <laughs> I prefer how the DS version handles uh, the... So the DS one, instead of using laser for Orkin, it uses rocket. And you just slam into him over and over again with rocket. And it has such a like nice oomph to it. Meanwhile, in this, you just kind of ascend into him. And then he's just like, ow. It, yeah, it's a very weird, like, slow height increase. But I haven't played the DS version in... It, it's been a while. I think the last time I played that one was when I streamed it. Mm. On my 3DS capture card. I remember I, I was like, I got the 3DS capture card forever ago, and I was like, I'm going to play all the Sonic games on stream because I can do that now. And it's better than using an emulator because, you know, DS touch controls are not good on emulators still. Oh, uh, SK Mark actually told the name of that mini boss. It's called Gravity Machine. Oh. That's I think Gravitron also... would have been better. Gravitron would have fit more with, like, some of the other boss names, probably. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, one thing I really wish I could do with Colors Ultimate is put the DS version in it. Just yeah, have, like, was... a DS emulator built into it. That would be neat. It'd almost be like, um, you know, when Sonic Adventure DX on GameCube and stuff, they had all those little, uh, the, uh, not the mobile games, but you know what I mean, like the handheld games. Mm. In, uh, as unlockables. That'd be neat if they added, like, a that some Sonic game in the future had a lot of those because they have not been re-released and they're not on Nintendo Switch Online and, you know, I feel like they're just going to be dead forever even though I think they're really good. I think it's just a Nintendo thing. They're really touchy about having games that utilize their hardware originally being on other platforms. Yeah, I mean, Capcom did it with the, the Mega Man Zero collection because the, the two oh. ZX games were on DS. Well, don't they, like, recompile them to, like, run natively instead of being an emulated version of the DS? You version? know, I think you're right, but I feel like the Battle Network collection does emulate to some degree, though. Because I feel like I remember someone saying that in the Battle Network collection, like, they're emulating the game and then they're throwing st Almost like the candy wrapper thing you said. I think it's sort of like that. Yeah. Like they're, they're updating so it's kind of like graphics. how yeah. Switch Online does, and Mario 3D All-Stars handle uh, emulating ROMs, where they use Lua scripting to inject custom code into them. Sonic Advancers, is... they're still licensing issues with THQ. Did THQ have something with Advance? I have no idea. I didn't know that, it's true. But uh, it could be like that, I really, I really don't know how it works, but I, I remember people saying that, because the battle card art... In, in the Battle Network collection is higher quality than in the GBA version. But everything else, I believe, is basically the same. Like, it, it might be some freaky combination of emulation and uh, running natively. I have no clue. I'd have to look into it, but I'm not, like, the biggest Mega Man person. I, I'm not either. I just like some of the spinoffs. Like, I, I don't like the classics very much. I, I really like the X series. I think that's fun. The Zero series is great. But then... My bread and butter is really Battle Network and Star Force. Mm. So are you enjoying I'm... the blue hue being restored here? And then the moving clouds in, on the oh, planet? Absolutely. Yeah. The whole thing <laughs> looks so much better. 
Oh, more motobugs. Let's go. Yeah, and they're affected by shadows now. <laughs> sorry, uh, Devin John said. Sorry, I saw you had a question. Uh. I've been bad uh, keeping up with these questions. I've been yeah, so no, bad. I, I got held up again. Let's see. Uh, Rare Replay and Gold 9 Xbox are both emulated too. I think that's only a commercial in 64. Uh, Merrick said the Mega Man collections are na native ports. So maybe what I heard was like, that was people assuming or something before it came out. Try mm -hmm. the game land levels and get Supersonic there. Did you already know that? Yeah, I have Supersonic because the game's complete already. Question, sorry, this is what uh, question for Garrus. Do you... Thoughts on Lucky, Super Lucky's Tale. I played a bit of that because it looked interesting and I thought it was cool that that was like an Xbox game that came to Nintendo platforms. But uh, I don't know, I couldn't really get into it even though I really like platformers. So, uh, the thing is about Super Sonic, this build does not have the updated Super Sonic stuff, so he will look identical to how he does in Vanilla Colors Ultimate. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't really going to bother with him anyway because I feel like he doesn't add the whole lot. Oh, no. He doesn't. He doesn't. Not this guy. But... Uh, all of the Game Land stages, their lighting has been updated. Because... I did see that. I did, for, I did record some of that. For some reason, the vanilla game, they just copy and pasted all of Tropical Resort's lighting for every single Game Land stage. <laughs> so that's why the lighting <laughs> what the looks fuck so were they wrong. Doing? I don't know! <laughs> uh, it, it has to just be a time thing, right? They just didn't have enough time? They just copy and pasted a bunch of stuff? I guess... Okay, um, I, I need to... So, this boss fight, I remember having weird issues with it, playing the original. Oh, good. You get punched. What is it I'm meant to do in this section? Because you would know over so anyone you're else, I'm sure. So, you're supposed to hit the motobugs to get boost. But the thing is, whenever... So, I recommend whenever he... the inner, I, I forget what he's called. He's called Crab. a big chaser. Crab man. And Unleashed, they were called Interceptors. But uh, anyway, whenever he shows up and does his like little intro, don't waste your boost doing, during that. Just oh, kind of so hold on to it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ow. Oh, these were here. Ow. Dude, you hit um, one of those, you can't jump. Don't <laughs> stick the animation. <laughs> yeah, you you're, you're stun locked. Uh, let's see. Blue Fliss is released com coming soon or very soon? It's coming soon. It's still... Uh, the the goal, hopefully, is to have Re-Rainbow out before June. Hopefully. I want to have it out before June, or at least maybe on Sonic's birthday. A good goal. Yeah. Also, someone said they like the perfect homing attack. I think it's a great idea as well. The only thing I don't like is how loud the sound effect is. Sound effect, like, I, yeah. I like that it gives you more boost in a game where... Is it just trying... Robots gives oh. you boost, right? But like, the uh, some do. Gives you more. So, so some, some ro only some certain specific egg ponds will give you uh, white wisps. Meanwhile, with the perfect homing attack, you will always get a tiny little bit of boost. But that actually has a multiplier on it, so it stacks. So, the more you perfect homing attack in a chain, the more boost you will receive. I I think that's a great mechanic. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I wish they use that again but like i guess the boost is it's not really as important in frontiers yeah so uh, a little fun fact about this stage there's little unique egg ponds uh that are floating around in the background they have <laughs> unique designs in colors ultimate they are t-posing they do they are not animated i had <laughs> to fix that they shut down <laughs> they couldn't they couldn't yeah. exist in space anymore they died Right, so so I, I saw had that to someone said them... jump for the punches and boost for the lasers. Is that what people were saying? Yeah, yeah. You can jump. This is the only time you can jump over his punches. You can't do it in Aquarium Park X Six. Oh, okay. Well, well it's over anyway. I guess. All right, not Act, not X Six. Act Four. <clears throat> Act Four is the one where he chases you. <laughs> time for the new final boss uh, materials. Yay! <laughs> oh, is that it? We're doing the final boss now. Yeah. What's what's that last? Panel. What's this? Uh, that that's the running away from the black hole. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. You do the final boss, and then you. That's a good point. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the final color blaster. Let's see. I think someone asked earlier if you were able to put the jade wisp into that, but I, I feel like so, that's probably not possible, right? Not right now. 
That'd be like a code <laughs> injection it, thing. Yeah, it would be a custom code injection. Because the thing is, there's... So one thing I've learned is nothing is impossible, but a lot of things are really oh. unlikely. Because of Denuvo getting in the way and lack of interest with this game. Okay, that's, that's fair. I can't believe I messed that up. That, it's like, <laughs> it's all I have to do. I just have to hit the A button. Are you enjoying the final boss not looking goofy? Uh -uh. Oh, it looks great. I, I always liked boost. the design of this, but I, I kind of... You have to boost! Uh, I didn't know. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's been a while since I played this. I, I kind of like the, uh, the Mother Wisp fight in the DS version more than this. Oh it yeah, kinda, yeah. We're... It feels like more of like a I gotta do this. Like this is like a this is bad, you know. Like yeah, it could be bad like, for everybody. The mother of all wisps has been like corrupted. That has I... to be fixed. Is there an Eggman fight in DS before that? I don't. Remember. Yes, yes, there is. It's been a while, but I love that you. He uses all the powers against you. I'm, I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. And then you, you slowly free them, and they join you in the run, and it's like, oh, it's so cool! Like, this is so, like, shonen. I, I love shonen so I feel like that's, like, whoops. Front, you do it once? I can't do that. Over. What the fuck? You can jump over them. I wasn't ready. This is gonna be, this is the run. This is the one. <laughs> this is the one? This is the one. Sorry, I, I had to remember how this boss works, and by remember, I mean I needed Blue to tell me. <laughs> uh, I remember Eternal Velocity Act 1 extending a strange amount even beyond where the stage ends. Am I remembering that correctly? Uh, I believe it does just to kind of ensure yeah. that that fade out at the end is like properly happens. Instead of like the stage suddenly ending and then it fades out. You know, on the Wii version, when Eggman does that little vacuum thing... I never really understood that he was, like, sucking up wisps from the atmosphere or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, on the Wii version, it was difficult to tell because it was so blurry. But, like, in this yeah. one, it's so obvious. It's like, why else would he be doing that? <laughs> He's just showing how strong the machine is. Laser! Yeah, he, he also has, a, like, Eggman also has, like, really uni like, unique animations while he's like doing these attacks you can kind of see him like dancing and stuff and hitting the controls <laughs> oh, shit. and whenever you not the whenever you uh get hit he kind of goes like nah, 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 and he kind of does the like he taunts you it's really it's funny a, it's a lot better than in previous games where he'd just be like a jpeg sitting in there like in sonic uh, not only in sonic um and rush it's it's like that he's in just sonic a little heroes. jpeg in there sonic heroes as well like in egg emperor he's like he's like a flat texture <laughs> <laughs> it's so like it's so easy to see. Imagine if Whisper uh, was in this game. That sounds like a good Sonic What If story. That yeah. Someone could do. Uh, SK Mark is actually talking about the E3 2010 build of this game. How the drift worked. The drift worked differently. You wouldn't hold the boost button and turn. You actually had to tilt the nunchuck in order to drift. Ugh. <laughs> I'm so that's glad they changed that. Awful. Huh. A waggle. <laughs> Dude, I kind of loved the way... It, like, for what it was and for the time, it was it was very, like, enchanting. But, like, thinking about it now, it's like, I just want to play games with a controller. Yeah, th that's how I feel about the thing. Like, whenever people kind of, like, praise Black Knight, I'm like, I get it for its story, but the gameplay just looks like it, it would make my arm hurt after playing it for, like, 15 minutes. It's like... Was did Black Knight have the ability to use the GameCube controller or? I don't think so. No, it was Wiimote and Nunchuck only. Oh, okay. That's I always misplace that in my brain because I I think it's it's a step up that you can use the Nunchuck at least and use it to control Sonic as opposed to you know Secret Rings where they were like you don't control him he controls you. Yeah. Yes. Auto running Sonic is not a bad idea. But it was a bad idea in Secret Rings. Like, that was a bad, bad control scheme. Uh. Oh shit! He's going fast. Oh, he's going fast. Spikes. Yeah, come here, Eggman. Okay. Come here. You're on the final yeah. hit. Yep, you got okay, him. Good. I, I I figured that was what it was because I heard the good song in the background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You, you, you little, you, you. <laughs> so, uh, a little thing is, it, it was such a small detail that someone pointed out to me. Um, I believe it was Mikester. He's on the overclock team. He was like, the Eggman firework here is not rotated properly. It's it doesn't like match along like with the rotation of the camera. <laughs> it also doesn't so, look like a firework it, at all. <laughs> it looks like yeah, a, it doesn't like a flat texture. I mean, not that it. I, I don't. I think that's like the least thing that I would care about in a project that's like fixing graphics. But, yeah. Uh, what's hilarious about that is uh the Switch version you couldn't even see that firework. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You would just you would just hear it blow up. The Switch version's a mess. Oh, this is the cool shit. Oh, here we go. Is that weird so, robot here again, or do we just run? Yeah, we just run. Okay. Uh, so, the idea I actually had for the lighting in this was I kind of took a little bit of creative liberties. I kind of made it to where it starts off purple because it's close, and then it kind of starts to fade back to normal because you're, you kind of get the false impression you're that you're right. outrunning it. Yeah, yep, and then it's like, but then, oh. <laughs> This is funny that this <laughs> is a separate close. level. For like a yeah. <laughs> 18 seconds of gameplay. Does the cut is the ending gonna play, or is it just end? I don't know. Yeah, it, it just ends. Ugh, I want the credits. To oh, you know, I can play the credits from over here, right? I just want to hear. Oh the yeah, song. the. I'm not sure if this build has the updated credits. It should. Yeah, it does. It has the updated credit stuff. And that's. Did you add the original colors, credits? Is that why? The, the changes or uh no so the, the, oh you like added the, yeah that i added the shooting stars and the scrolling planets back because those are actually broken in colors ultimate where they don't scroll against the camera like it's supposed to they scroll of with course. it so they'll <laughs> never appear on screen of course that's how it goes Honestly, <laughs> and i also stuff you've told me during this stream and just in general I, i'm not surprised at this point that it just it just doesn't work <laughs> yeah. So I also fixed the the light road here. It so how Colors Ultimate did it, where it, it just flashed a rainbow color. When in the original Colors, it had a it was a very long stretched out rainbow gradient. So really? over time, like the further you go, if you notice, it starts changing color. That's I, okay. So this is this is not gonna. I don't know if this will make sense to a whole lot of people, but it's it's how it makes sense to me. I mentioned Super Mario World hacking earlier. A lot of the things you've told me about how this game works reminds me of things that I would do for Mario ROM hacks. That like, it, It's like, I want to do this, right? It, like, for example, I wanted to... That's a good example. Uh... Okay, like, like putting a, like a little cutscene in a Mario World level, right? So, so there are ways now... Because, you know, Mario ROM hacking has gone a long way. There are ways mm. to have, like, full-on, like, cutscene things in the game. So you can have, like, a more suitable cutscene where, like, maybe text will scroll and, like, it's actually, like, a dedicated cutscene for a level, right? But mm. the way I always did it, because I didn't feel like getting that to work, because I was like, I don't want to fucking learn more stuff. I would just, uh, and I think this is how people used to do it. But it's like a band-aid solution where I would replace the graphics of the level so I had a, a completely black tile. I would close off a lot of the scene with the black tile just so it's a small like frame, right? So I could focus the scene. Hmm. And then have Mario and whoever else needed to be there in the scene with a little bit of background. Uh, usually with no like sorry, not background, but a lot of like a little bit of foreground so it looks like they're not standing in space. But the background hmm. would usually be black, and then I would insert, like, a font into the game. Not something I would make, but something from Super Mario World Central. And, uh, you, I would piece together the words of the cutscene in, like, I guess it was 16 by 16 tiles? Mm -hmm. So I had to, like, work the words in, like, as slow as fucking possible, because you had to make all the words by hand. And I would all because I, I didn't want to have to, like, learn how the new cutscene patches work. And it's just, it feels like some of that, like, oh, I just stretched out this big rainbow road so I didn't have to do the other thing. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't tell if it's smart or if it's, like, a band-aid, you know? 
So, it it actually is smart because one thing I've learned a lot from doing like mods and stuff is that game devs are wizards and magicians. <laughs> they where Aria. we we do visual tricks and stuff Ooh. that are optimized that will like get us what they like what we want and we do it in the most like back ass random way. <laughs> But as long as we get our visual result, then we don't care. Yeah, we're, as long as it works, it doesn't matter. We're smoke and mirrors, you know. It's a good way to think of it. Also, if you didn't notice, uh, this is actually using the Symphony remix of Speak With Your Heart, not the one that they used in the original game, the original Colors yep. Ultimate. I remembered not liking the one from Colors Ultimate. Like, I, I feel like that because was one of the songs they kind of, like, ruined. It's because they used the ending portion of the Speak With Your Heart remix. They didn't use the whole remix. I don't know why. Oh my God. Then you sit <laughs> in silence, right? Like you just kill Kurt. Oh yeah. Yeah, but th they fixed that, thankfully. It will just play the main theme of Colors and switch between that and Reach for the Stars over and over again. You like how there's actually planets in the background now? What are you doing? What What's happening? Oh, oh okay. Dude, I love Sonic Colors. <laughs> this is such a good game. Me too. Okay, yes, this remix what? will be playing in the final release of the mod. Two and a half hours, which is a good amount of time for a stream. I don't know if I have... I, I definitely want to point towards your YouTube channel so people can see the cutscenes that we didn't... Because then, you know, uh, for those who weren't here for earlier, the cutscenes are also being completely redone in like very nice 60 fps they, they look immaculate but they're not in this build yet and that's why i didn't start a new game otherwise i would have done it like that uh hmm. we also had kind of toyed around with the idea of trying to figure out remember where the cutscenes play and trying to play them off the youtube channel or downloading them but i, I kind of i was like i, I don't want to do that like, I'd, I'd rather just <laughs> play the game me. i feel like it's gonna kill the pace but um uh, I, I definitely want to point towards your channel in a sec. You want, you want to maybe do that now? That way we can... Because I'm just, like, jumping over and over again into the credits. Uh, like... So, you could actually take the Google Drive folder I sent you, and Google Drive actually allows you to preview the videos. I, I noticed, though, and... when I was previewing them, they weren't in, like, the full 60 FPS. It was only doing 30. Uh, so, you can actually change the quality of them. Like the quality oh, really? of the the playback, I believe. Uh, with Google Drive. That. So it, it kind of acts like YouTube, but it's like a, a diet YouTube almost, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me let me open that just because we don't really need to see the entire credits. Yeah. No one. No one cares. Uh. So um... these go from bottom to top, right? The top is the last one. Yeah. It's it's all numerical. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, so these are only playing in 1080p. That's strange. So it is only 1080p 30 FPS. I can I can like download another one just so you guys can see what it's looking like. Or you know, I mean, I already showed the intro cutscene earlier. So why don't we show like? I'm just gonna pick a random one. Yeah, just uh, just kind of. Let's see what this one is. Pull it out of a hat. I think this is the no copyright law in the universe cutscene. So I'm gonna do this one. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> I believe that's EV410, or, or, it's either 420. EV320? <laughs> uh, you know, you e probably know better yeah. than me. Hold on, let's see. EV420. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember the ID names. Yeah, it's EV320. That's the copyright law one. 320? I'm surprised yeah. I, like, noticed what that, I remembered what that looked like, like, off the top of my head. <laughs> Yeah. All right, hold on. At this point, I should know the ID names and what corresponding thing is, but right now I'm having a brain fart. Listen, I think this is the same kind of deal as, like, you know in school where you would, like, learn a hundred vocabulary words and then you would know how to spell them, but, like, you might forget a couple. I feel like that's kind of what you've had to do. Like, you've learned yeah. a million different things, and if you don't remember the exact code of one of the cutscenes, I don't think it's that big a deal. Yeah. I think, I think you're good. I think you've been doing a good job, and you, you should be... You should be proud of that. Alright, let's see. On stream. There's so much chat on here, you must scroll up. What? It's the first time in 60 FPS on Steam. They could probably get away with real-time cutscenes, but chose not to. 
Well, yeah, they just it, they upscaled the original cutscenes and just threw them in there. It it so it is possible to make the cutscenes run in real time, but the thing is with how like unoptimized and limited Godot three is, and it it would cause them to be desynced, and I don't probably, want desync issues. It would stutter the file initially. size a lot, right? No, it actually would make it smaller because real time oh, uh, cutscenes are <clears throat> they take up less data than video files. Because huh. all you have is just a few models and animations. I, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. That, that's actually a good point. All right, here. Uh, so I've got this one downloaded now. Uh, let's check this out. And then you can go check out Blue's channel for more of these. Which we will put in chat in just a moment. Uh, here we go. Gameplay capture stream over. Put that back on. Okay, we're good. Here it is. So this is the no copyright law in the universe cutscene. <laughs> This is everyone's favorite. And there's the generator. It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. This boss killed me so many times. <laughs> I know for a fact these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Please remember, all planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. <laughs> all unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you! Eggman, I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens! No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a lot of time and broken robots if you just quit now! Uh, you try to be reasonable? Oh, God, I love him so much. He's such a fucking dork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, copy! So... He's talking- he's not talking to anybody! <laughs> like, he's just <laughs> talking to himself! <laughs> I love that he's listening uh, to him recording and yelling at him. Yeah, Ugh. just yelling at nothing. Meanwhile, like, Refreshinator's like, I want to murder you. Bro, bro, <laughs> square up. Come on, let's go, let's go. Sonic's just like, let me talk to my nemesis who's not listening. I mean, The fun part possibly. about that was uh, actually remastering Refreshinator's model there. Because yeah, that, the one that I model that's used in good. game. Yeah, I had to, like, by hand like clean up his model just That's, so he would look good there's so much that goes into this stuff and I'm, I'm really glad that i got to like just see all that i didn't really think about like a lot of what goes into stuff like this uh yeah it's a, it's a lot of work uh again i please thank sk merrick or marik or however you want to pronounce their name uh like i i, I tremendously like it would not have been possible without them. I think huge hand to Merrick, huge hand to just everybody that's been involved in this. It, I think yes, it's... like I I love everyone on the team. They they've done stellar jobs, and I'm just like, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> I'm really glad. Like I, just the the idea that it's like a huge passion project. It's it's like an inspiring thing, you know, like this has been, it's been improved to the point where it's like, I can't believe it didn't look like this to begin with, you know, like, yeah. like, like, I feel like they That's... should see this, you know, like, and be like, wow, like, let us like add this as a patch or something. I don't know. I know well, people are always why... mad when people are like, oh, Sega hired this. I'm just, I'm just saying like, th this yeah. is incredible. Like it's, it's that's amazing. why I've been reaching out to content creators and like letting you guys have like early access because it one you guys get a superior colors ultimate to play early <laughs> and I and the project get free publicity and so more <laughs> people can see it. <laughs> I, mean, I like it. it's like a symbiotic relationship. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I've like re that's why. I mean, it, it's it's not anything malicious, but it's just like that's why most playtesters are content creators because uh, no, I get you. They have the ability and the following to really show this off, and they're also getting something out of it. I'm just glad to like I. I'm glad I got to play it. I, I appreciate it. You know, 
Yeah, you're welcome, it's like man. A, it, it's been fun. Like, I think this this was an awesome stream. I had so much fun today. Yeah, I had Ugh. fun too. I'm glad that it was like... I know I like rushed in from the podcast earlier and it's like, oh, I felt bad that I was like, I, I should have set the stream to be a little bit later, but like, that was a good time. I'm glad I... <laughs> I'm glad I got to do this today and there were no hiccups and uh, you, you weren't mm. kidding. You know, like the, the fact that it's got that the, the stutter issue, like I definitely saw that when I was, you know, recording before, but like just having the game on for a while before I started the stream, like I, I feel like it was very minimal issue. Like like here and there, <laughs> there was like a, like when the level started, it was whatever, but like just hit restart, it works perfectly. You know, like mm. uh, it was like an extremely playable experience and just even the, that's cool. like you know that the, the the tropical resort screenshot you shared on Twitter like the half like the I can't believe how good this looks or whatever you said yeah like just that I'm like looking at the it's so vibrant and Alive. colorful you know? <laughs> like I I'm just but so that's the goal you know, with so this impressive. project I want it to be the definitive way to play colors and experience colors so we, people don't have to fall back onto Dolphin. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I was going to say it earlier. I think when I was having trouble with the Laser Wisp and Planet Planet Colors... Sorry, Planet Wisp. I said that. I was like, is that wrong? That's wrong, right? Uh, in Planet yeah. Wisp, you were like, hold the up button. You need to... I remember in Dolphin, I was using a 60 FPS code last time I streamed colors on, on Dolphin, at least, and... Uh, the 60 FPS code breaks the game a bunch. And, like, it's sure, there's yes. a there's an HD texture pack you can use that makes the game look great. There's a 60 FPS code that makes the game look great. But there are parts of the game that you need to turn it off for. And it's not a lot of the game, but it's kind of annoying, you know, because you need to go and disable that if you need you can even get through certain sections. This isn't Yeah, like, like Aquarium Park Act like, 1. <laughs> yeah, or, or Planet Wisp. You can't Wisp get through that levels. opening loop. You can't do some of those for some reason. Yeah. But this is, like, this will be the definitive way to play it. Like, I know Sonic Colors is, it's on Steam now. I, I don't know if the sale is still going, but if you guys don't have Sonic Colors Ultimate on Steam, it's definitely worth $12, even if it's, you know, you know you're waiting for the mod still. I think yeah. there is still plenty to do in the game. You can unlock stuff. You can get ready for the mod. Just get it when it's on sale. And then when this mod releases, it's it's the best version of Sonic Colors you can have. That's yeah. That's all there is to it. That, that's how it is. So currently, I don't think it's on sale anymore. But humble no. uh, humble bundle, like the humble bundle website, is still selling it for twelve dollars. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good. I wish I'd thought about saying this earlier, but like that that's a good place too. You could probably get more than just Sonic Colors as well. You probably get like a handful of Sega games. Um, yeah. You could do that. Honestly, I know I, I ragged on the Epic Game Store earlier. If it's ever free, like, they do game stuff like that all the time. It's either free, it's on sale, whatever. They're trying to get more people to use it. Get it on Epic. It still works fine. The game will still be able to be modded. That's what I was using today. Uh, just try and get this game. Like, either when this mod's out or whenever you're around. Whenever, sorry, I was looking at my cat and I just realized she came back around. That's why I said that. Look at you climbing up like a jungle gym. Uh, so Hi. here's the... I posted the link in the chat. That's the Humble Bundle Humble Bundle link. Uh, it is on DM sale. I, I don't know if it'll go to the chat. I think it might automatically block links. Oh, okay. Uh, here. <clears throat> Thanks. But so this is... It is on sale for ultimate. two more days. And this, this is for the base version, not digital deluxe. Eleven ninety nine. Okay. And so, digital I mean, deluxe is 13 good. something. That ain't bad either. So it's... T oh, God, it's typically $40. Yeah, try grabbing this on Humble Bundle. Is this for... It's for Steam. So this is a Steam yeah. version as well. You can get Sonic Colors Ultimate for 11 or $13 if you want all the extra content. It's got two more days to it. I really recommend it. I mean, in the meantime, there are other mods you can play that do... They, they do kind of fix lighting and stuff. You can use those in the meantime. But honestly, just wait for... Like, you'll get this mod eventually, and it'll be worth it. It'll be worth every penny. And then that way, Sega still gets money. Like, you know, this is... It, it, see, that's what I like about mods, you know? Because it's not like... Yeah, wow, the mod... You know, it doesn't give you the game for free. Like, it doesn't make anything like that happen. Like, you, you're still buying the game, therefore 
providing Sega with the money. You're supporting them. I know they're a multi-million dollar company, but you know what I mean. Like, you're supporting the official release, let's say. And you can now extend the game's lifespan with things like this that just make it better to play. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, I think. But thank you for uh, the Humble Bundle thing. I actually didn't know about that. Yeah, uh, uh, I didn't either until someone said it in the chat at the start oh, of the sorry. stream. <laughs> nice. So it was not an original idea. Well, okay. Well, thanks to whoever said that at the, the beginning of the stream. That was very helpful. <laughs> okay. I think... Uh, is there anything else you want to say before we wrap up? I, I need to go eat something. I'm getting hungry. Um, hi. Um, <laughs> Alright, that's a good one. I'm... I don't. You don't. I'm have hoping to. to have release. I'm hoping to have release uh, June or around Sonic's birthday. That's that's like my goal. If that doesn't end up happening, I'll let everyone know, or I'll I'll do something because I, I want to get this out because people are like clamoring for it and like begging for it. No. Oh, okay. And I'm just like, it's not ready yet. <laughs> don't rush it. You know how that ends up with this franchise. Yeah. Right. Uh. Vess had one more question, actually, before we sign off. Did you fix the uh, Metal Sonic pop-up being unpolished like hot singles in your area? <laughs> oh, so I actually did have an idea, and I was talking to uh, Locomotives about this recently. Um, uh, there, it, it is possible to actually add an animation to that pop-up. Uh, we just have not, and it's not on the priority list right now, but it is being considered. Yeah, it's such a small part of the game. Like, it's you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's right. the the PC version was forty because forty gigabytes because they included all the shader cache from every console version. So what's this channel about? Uh, okay, that'll be that'll that'll that's a good way to end it out. Uh, I guess if you haven't been to this channel before, uh, I released a video about this mod earlier today you can watch. I mainly do scripted videos about Sonic things and sometimes uh, non-Sonic things. Kind of depends on what I'm feeling about, feeling like. Uh, it's mainly just like, uh, you know, I play the game, I tell you how I feel about it, and it's like a little review-ish type thing, review retrospective type deal. Uh, I try to be funny. And then... Um, on streams, we just do sort of like what you saw. We just stream, we talk. Usually it's just me, but uh, I like having people on sometimes. But it's, it's like, difficult for me to plan stuff like that sometimes, you know? Uh, but, yeah, no, that's pretty much what it's about. I just like to play games and have a good time and try and make some funnies. <laughs> but, uh... It, your, your videos are something I like to have on, like, uh, in the background while I'm working. It's just... Oh. It's nice to hear you rant and talk about stuff that you're interested in. I appreciate that. Thanks. Yes. That's, I've heard that, like, it's good background noise, and I, that's kind of, like, high praise, because, like, that's what I use a lot of uh, YouTube videos I watch for. Like, I'll be eating, mm. and I'll be like, I'm going to just listen to this. And it's almost like like if I pick this video for dinner time, it's, like, praise <laughs> be to you. Yeah, like, I, can't, I can't eat without having a YouTube video, like, up and ready. <laughs> Either that or like a like a TV show or something, and yeah, it's usually a YouTube video though, because there's just so many. But uh, all right, yeah, I, I gotta I gotta sign off now though. I'm I'm all right. Starving. Well, it's been fun. Tired. Thanks, thanks for all the questions, everybody. Yeah, thank you very uh, much for for being here. I appreciate it. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> all right, thanks for coming, everybody. I hope you guys had a good time, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. All right. All right. We will see you later. Have a good one. Goodbye.